I don't understand how uh, game developers make settings in their games that literally don't work. Like, I would think, like, if I used my whole... Uh, it, it, wait, 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 hold on. Loud, loud, loud. I don't feel loud. I feel, I feel like I'm a normal level. I feel like you probably had silence, so then you turned up your volume as loud as possible, just in case there was a little whisper of something. And then, I mean, I'm just going to say that one's a pebcac issue. So I buy the devil inside me. Never, uh, never say I don't do anything for you. Thousands of people begged. Posts on the subreddit because nobody knows how to use the search function. Has he mentioned every five minutes for the last uh, 30 streams? Has he mentioned anything about the devil inside me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. I don't watch. So I don't know why I'm interested in seeing him play it. But anyway, Chibli coming into my stream begging, begging for the location of the devil in me stream. I buy it last night. I say, I already paid for it, right? I pre-ordered all the um, supermassive games. No, turns out, no, that's not true. Um, so 58 Canadian dollars later, 70 gigabytes later, booted up this morning, uh, and it, it boots up in 4K ultra-wide on my uh, small monitor that I use for chat, so I can't click on any buttons. Okay, no big deal. I close it, boot it up again, making sure I'm hard-locked on my big monitor, it boots up uh, in 4K ultra wide. I say, please don't do that. I change the display settings. I go uh, borderless windowed. It goes, do you want to keep the settings? I say, yes, please. That's why I clicked on it in the first place. It says, psych! You thought, and then I, it, it, it becomes just regular full screen again, fully locked. It blows out my OBS so that my face is like uh, 10 times the size of the streaming window. Very cool. Um, Turns out, there's a, I go to the Steam forums. Hey, does anyone else have this issue? Yeah, user solved uh, this, this issue with this post. There's a file in the game location called Game Settings INI. All I did was change everything with the string full screen in it to two instead of one, and then it worked for me. Okay, I was like, you know what? Thanks so much for your help. O open up Steam, the devil in me. Right click, browse file location. I go into the file location. There's 70 folders, uh, binaries, assets, images, text files, uh, the, 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 uh, the XLS files and stuff like that. And I'm like, could you have not just... You, you, there's a little right-click function called copy path. You could have just copied the path and been like, this is where it is. You just say, oh, it's, it's in there somewhere. Go digging. Like uh, Jigsaw trying to get you to find the key to open your friend's cage, but it's in a pit of like used syringes. So I said, that's no thank you. Then I just kept scrolling. I found another post that said, oh, in order for the, full, the borderless full screen settings to save, you need to turn off HDR. Seems like the kind of thing that uh, the developer should maybe hold your hand on a little bit. That, that should only take a second to fix. And lo and behold, boot up the game again. It boots up on my small monitor. Alt-Enter makes the window small enough that at least I can drag it over to the, the main monitor. Put it on the main monitor. You Make sure you boot it up in DX12 mode, because if you don't boot it up on DX12 mode, then it's not going to work. Turn off HDR. Then put it back in borderless full screen, and here we are. And now the only problem is that in borderless full screen, if my mouse pointer is not on the devil in me, uh, my Twitch chat and OBS window, for me personally, run at 3 FPS. But for some reason, when I click on the window and it's loading Ashley Tisdale's face with a billion polygons and modeling every single pore, it works perfectly fine. Supermassive, you gotta figure this out, okay? Or stop making games for the PC. That, it's that simple. If you can't make it for the PC, then just be like, sorry, we can't figure it out. I know you're making it on the PC. So surely you're testing it on the PC, but something's wrong, dude. You 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 got some you gotta hire like a you gotta hire someone who actually plays PC games. That's not just loading the shit on their PS4. Anyway. So we got it working. Yeah, it's simple, you know, it's uh, I'll do, I'll do the QA for you. I'll write it! Okay, now, like, here's the step seven. Um, let's make sure... Uh, sorry, I'm alt-tabbed to try to move my camera, but, uh, again, my mouse is moving at one frame per second because I'm alt-tabbed. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna do, oh, the, oh encoder overload, encoding is overloaded. But then when you click on the window and it's actually rendering the game, it's like, oh, the encoding is actually totally fine. It's no, it's no big deal whatsoever. Okay, so let's just see. Um, and we, I, if I had to guess, and this, this I'm pre-tilted. This won't even tilt me. We may have to turn VSync on, but that's just par for the course. Okay, so we, we bring it over here. How did, the, how did the transition look? Did it look its typical smoothness or did it look like pure anus? Because it looked like anus to me. It was a little choppy, a little framey. See, because here's the thing. This is me with the active window with Andy Circus over. No, so I can see myself. I can see myself chopping a little bit. You see that? And then watch, watch when I click on the chat. I'm, I'm going crazy over here. That's, that's when the game is not the active window. Now, when the game is the active window, it's smoother. It's not great, but it's smoother. Okay, so let, then let's do... Keep, keep in mind, by the way, I play every single one of these games on my stream prior to this, so I'm a little surprised that they decided just to break it for this one. Um, let's, let's go to graphics and I'm going to turn VSync on and then I'm going to escape. Are you sure you wish to save the current settings? Yes. And I can see, I can see that I'm still choppy. I'm going to my settings again. Is the stream quality fucked for anyone else? Have you listened to a word that I've said the whole time? This is literally the, the only thing we've talked about for the whole stream thus far. Have you lost your mind? Okay, graphics. I don't know, we're, we're on medium. Let's take it down to low. Are you going to save it this time? Limit frame rate to 30? Listen, by all means, I'll do anything at this point. Hello. We're no longer choppy. You know what it... Spooky. You know what I think it is? Some games... I think if you make a, a game and you're, the only platform you care about is the PlayStation, you go, that thing's got an integrated graphics chip in it anyway. So, like, you might as well just let it run as fast as possible because the fastest it's ever going to get is 23 FPS. On the PC, they're like, should we put a, like a frame rate limit on it so it doesn't try to run at 900 frames per second because they've got like a real video card in there? And they're like, no, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Some engineer in Latvia who works 12-hour days will get home from his back-breaking job providing the infrastructure for the Baltics and he'll fix it for us for free. Why would we do that ourselves when instead we could just have... Somebody who maintains all of the wastewater treatment plants in Riga just fix it for us for free with one line of code in a forum post. Jesus Christ. It's driving me damn crazy. Looking good? Thank you, thank you. Dick Skin December is almost over. But honestly, I'm kind of feeling it. I went to, I know we're starting a little late here for obvious reasons. I, uh, we took our baby to get vaccinated. Well, I took our baby to get vaccinated yesterday. Thank you. Thank you. Um, not Listen, I'm, I say this without judgment. I had to drive 40 minutes because all the other appointments were booked, okay? In, in our like local vicinity. So I drove essentially two... And that's cities, but like two suburbs away. I live in Vancouver. I drove all the way to New Westminster. It was the earliest, uh, the, the closest appointment we could get relatively early. Showed up at 4.15 for her appointment. Got vaccinated. Left the clinic at 5 p.m. The entire time we were there, there was not a single other patient in the entire health unit. No, nobody, like literally just me and the baby in a, a vast 
healthcare provider ecosystem just just chilling assuming that at some point someone would show up and all, I wouldn't be the only person in the province getting my baby vaccinated but uh anyway no she's she's fine she's got a little you know like the day after the inoculation she's got a runny nose and stuff but she's okay and then we went to Walmart right cuz like not to sound rude but that's like exotic for me so like we, we were in a mall and I was like, holy cow, do you want to go to Walmart? And she was like, let's go. I bought apples. I bought two pounds of apples at Walmart for $3.99. I thought I was a genius. They were Honeycrisp, right? These are like top tier apples. Wait, what is it with, I'm, again, not to sound out of touch. Why is it when you go to a real grocery store, a Honeycrisp apple is like this big? And when you go to Walmart, a Honeycrisp apple is like that big. Like I could literally crush the Honeycrisp apples in, my, in the palm of my hand. I need to eat like three apples just to get the same caloric intake as like a, a, a normal Honeycrisp apple. And then on the bag of apples, it said hand-picked. Like, like that means anything. Why do I care whether... A, a person picked the apple or like a machine picked the apple. Like if they were hand selected, then that almost sounds like it means something. Like maybe they, they could have just selected the worst apples to send to Walmart, I guess. But like it, it, for me, it's like it, it, it should say like premium apples instead. It just says these apples were picked by hand. And I'm like, yeah, probably because the, the farm is like, I can just underpay people to pick these myself so I don't have to invest in a John Deere Apple Picker 9000 that's going to be like $113,000 or something like that. That's not a bonus necessarily to say that they're hand-picked. doesn't mean anything. Anyway, still pretty amazing though. Two pounds of apples for $3.99. Three bags of goldfish for 8 bucks. A box of miniature croissants, four ninety nine. That's for the baby, not for me. I'm trying to think of what else we got. <laughs> Croissant. Anyway, it was good. Not live goldfish. Goldfish. You know biscuits. But then it got me thinking, is Walmart in Canada? I need to talk to Corey about this. He's a connoisseur. Is Walmart in Canada even cheaper than like other stores? Because I'm used to a two for five deal for goldfish. And I got a three for eight. And I'm like, a three for eight is not even a, that's a more expensive. Not by much, but by like, you know, 15 cents or something like that. Technically, I could be getting three for 750. Cheaper than Metro. Oh, don't even get me started on, on the Metro and the Farm Boy and the... Bring me back to the food basics. I did, I will say, I saw a, a deal when I exited Walmart. It was three bags of family-sized chips for $3. And I was like, okay, you brought me back. I didn't buy them, but I was like, I'm, I apologize. I was unfamiliar with your game. That's probably like 9,000 calories for $3. That's a pretty good bargain. Anyway, slash marker, the devil in me all right we're playing the devil in me it was a really smooth i this is this part of the stream is sarcasm we're telling lies for fun okay um really easy uh game to get working with the settings you want really easy to install really smooth really wait you know what just one of those purchases where i was like my 57 canadian dollars has uh it's bought me a, a ticket of convenience to just play the product that i uh that i paid for Definitely, we're not starting 26 minutes late, even though I started the prep 10 minutes early. You, may, you can choose to believe that or not to believe it. Either way, I heard that there's also a ton of other bugs in the game. It's, uh, it's the super massive Dark Pictures Anthology game with the lowest reviews on Steam. Almost every review talks about bugs. Uh, being like dead characters just appearing uh, as if they're alive but not intentionally, like a character that, that got murdered just being in a conversation the next scene. Uh, 
So this should be interesting. Let's put it that way. And I, I'm not a super massive hater. I make fun of the games when I play them, but I enjoyed the quarry. I thought the quarry was really good. I thought um, House of Ashes was really fun. I did not like Little Hope. I like Man of Medan more than the average person. I feel like there's one more game in the Dark Pictures anthology that I forgot about. But anyway, I tend to enjoy these games, quite frankly. But we'll, uh, we'll figure it out as we get going here. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to uh, make sure the subtitles are on. Well, Until Dawn is not in the Dark Pictures anthology, but that's the, the classic for sure. Subtitles. Are you, do you have a single millennial on your development team? I know, look, I'm starting a little angry here just because of the tech support issues. But like, if you had a single millennial on your development team, they would tell you there's two things you do when you go to your parents' house for Christmas, okay? Motion smoothing off, subtitles on. Okay, if your game has a lot of dialogue, you should start with subtitles on by default. Even those of us who don't have like hearing accessibility issues, it's just a quality of life thing. And then if you're like, oh, I don't like being, I don't like that I'm playing high on life and Morty's jokes get spoiled because I read faster than they talk. Okay, then you can go in the settings and turn it down. You piece of junk. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm losing it. Okay, new story. I'll play on the challenging degree of difficulty. And uh, sure, just go ahead and take a new slot there. I'll play with a mouse and keyboard. The tutorial will be for your selected control system. So this is the part of the game where there's like an actor who you're like, I know that guy, but I don't know his name, but he was like a secondary character in this movie that I, I like him, I like him. Uh, and then you're like, I didn't know he was in this. And here's the thing. He's not. He dies in the tutorial. And then you get introduced to a new group of young adults uh, that will actually be the main characters. So I'm, not, I'm not trying to spoil it. Just if you've never gone through the super massive formula before. It's going to be, you're going to be like, whoa, William Fickner, the bank manager from Heat and the bank manager from uh, The Dark Knight is in this. No, he's not. No, he's not. He drives a car for 15 minutes to teach you about quick time events and then he uh, gets eaten by a ghost no matter what you do because your choices matter. Every choice has a consequence in theory. Honest question. Oh, you got no sound, huh? Honest question. How do birds not get electrocuted? by power lines. Are their feet not conductive? Yeah, but every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. The wheel is so the rat dies so that the bird can live. I'm attempting to. I bet you can see for a hundred miles at the top. We should make that our first priority. Ah, uh, we can see Peoria Whatever from here. Whatever pleases you the most. You please me the most. You mean you are not weary of me after an entire day of marriage? You remember in There's Something remember. About Mary when, um... I shall hold you to that Tucker period. gets his teeth capped? And he goes, uh... Mary, do you like my teeth? I had them capped. I think we've arrived. For... Just bringing that up for no reason. This is the power of, of Crest White Strips. Grand. As advertised. Very nice. Do any of them ever pop out of the walls and have like a big cum shot? It's the only thing I can think of right here. Are we the only ones here? I'm sure that was a mad dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. Why is he looking at me? Stop looking at me, start looking at your betrothed. The 1893 World's Fair. Come see the world's most revolutionary invention, the bell. Tired of lackadaisical service at your abode? With one simple press of the button, a servant will be summoned to provide the service you've required. Ah, what, dude? Well, this does not bode There can't well just be a skeleton. How, how long has that person been rotten there? 
Unless the like the corpse got boiled or something like that. Like, what is the corpse been there for like eighty years anyway? Let's go to the fair Let's later today. Tomorrow morning. Let's sign in and go straight there. Okay, never mind. Anywhere. I guess. No one checks us in. Slow service. That means they're making sure everything is perfect. That's my Marie. Always finding that silver lining. My sincere apologies. Oh. For both startling you and for making you wait. I was having the My world's worst suit tailored. Needed elsewhere. Sorry, I couldn't be here. I was out committing I crimes. From here on out, it will be nothing but silver linings. Welcome. Size are so to the shifty. World's Fair Hotel. Please <laughs> sign in here. First time in Chicago, I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. The fair, yes, but that's not all. I heard you got uh, tall pizzas and uh, you serve your hot dog sandwiches with an entire spear of kosher dill pickle on them. Perhaps my wife, Mrs. Whitman, would like to sign. Yes. Careful, Today's careful. Of our honeymoon. This thing could emit poison gas. You gotta be cautious, okay? It's a simple billiard ball, but depress the number in the center for three seconds and it becomes sleeping gas. Are the rates that much higher? I think nothing of it. It's a reference Same to Wild Wild West. I'm sorry. The upgrade is to ours. grow up, 007. You're our first honeymooners. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Not to worry. You can sign in just as easily when you... <laughs> I failed another up. one. <laughs> How kind. Thank you, Mr... Mr. Murder! Uh, but my friends call me Killer. Under Hearst Helmsley? A lovely hotel, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you very much. I designed and built most of it myself. You're an architect then? Architect, designer, builder, philanthropist, playboy, doctor, artist. I'm a man of many interests. Impressive. Please have a look around. We have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter. You'll be on floor nine. Unfortunately, the elevator has not been invented yet. Just make a note if you decide to purchase anything, and we will add it to your bill. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Hold on, I gotta sneeze. We appreciate it. The pleasure is all mine. <coughs> I warned you. I told you no jump scares on my watch, okay? This time, I'm not going to fail the QTE. Use mouse to change selection. Press left mouse to pick up objects. Did, did you forget your face powder made with real, authentic American cadmium? Chat, am I missing something? <laughs> oh, no, okay. I have now received face powder. It's on my D-pad on my keyboard, okay. Pardon me, miss. Careful, you. My husband gets awfully cross with men who act fresh. Hmm. <laughs> he sounds like a ripe fellow. How's the marriage going? They're role-playing well, already. Hey, my time. wife and I saw you from across the World's Fair, and we sound? like your vibe. I'm sure the room is ready. See anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? Wouldn't you like to know? Says you. As a result of ringing the bell, you've set in 
motion a malevolent Rube Goldberg machine that will lead to the death of six out of eight teenagers in the year 2022 when they come to a dilapidated World's Fair hotel to see 21 pilots headline Lollapalooza. Damn, this hotel actually sucks ass. <laughs> it's you horrible. When you chase a thrill? <laughs> if this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel, I know you won't be denied. Wait, what's that? Well, yo, Chicago World's Fair, though. We are primed for some <gasps> Sufian Stevens. Don't move. It's possible. Press right click in time with the heartbeat. I'm ready. Okay, great time for a frame rate hitch. Appreciate it. I'm already playing the game on PlayStation 2 settings. You don't understand? Why are they hiding? Can't they just be like, oh, sorry, we thought this was our room? This guy deals with people all day. He knows how stupid the average person is. It'd be way worse if they found them hiding. I, w I would assume that they're trying to... Well, I don't know. What, I, I don't know what they're doing with this crappy room. <laughs> that was a thrill. You won't think it's thrilling if we're sleeping on the street after getting kicked out of here. Let's go. <laughs> She's crazy. He did say let's go. This is what passed for a thrill in 18... We just saw us come out, dude! <laughs> All that hiding what? for nothing? No. Well, I guess it got her heart rate up. It's not for nothing. Thank you kindly, Mr. Holmes. Do enjoy your stay. If you'll excuse me, I have... Work mm. to return to. If you'll excuse me, I have... I'm sure corpses we'll see each other again to soon. mutilate. I mean, bodies to. I mean, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Goodness, this place is fit for a king. Or my queen. Oh, you. No, don't. Kiss I can't handle a 19th century that is sex not scene. Wifely of you. Oh, hey. dude. I thought he was going to smoke her. She just got rinsed. You asked for it. Yeah, yeah, right here. I'm pressing the left mouse button. What's wrong with you? Oh, I got to hit him in the throat. <laughs> <laughs> Should I be frightened? If you're smart. <laughs> catch it, catch it. Press, I'm pressing the matching button. Dude, she's actually owning him. Mercy, mercy. Okay, you win. You know what's crazy is that Anything this is 1893. Only my pride. They're probably like 14 years old. How about a peace offering? Hmm. He's on vacation from the, the local lithium mine. Not at all. Where he's a senior vice president in charge of logistics and hydraulics. He has seniority. He's been working there since he was five. Face the mirror. She's 14, he's 38. Yeah. <laughs> it's not funny. But it is... She said pow right in the kisser! Family Guy viewer spotted! Bearing updated. Oh, Jeff, it's lovely. Jeff? Good. His name is Jeff? Victory is mine. Excuse me, it's 1893. Call me Jeffrey. Some kind of newfangled periscope. An, it, I do declare a clandestine ocular device in our humble hotel room. Honey, honey, shitter's clogged. Will she be able to open the shitter? 
Find out on the next episode. Maybe if we put a little weight into it? I'm crazy. Open sesame. <laughs> Thank you. Why don't you have a shave while I take a quick bath? Then we can reconvene. I know that. Well, yeah, he's got a nine o'clock shadow. French for something illicit. <laughs> Shush. Shave. I think I forgot to pack my razor and kit. I'm sure the pharmacy downstairs has them. Don't be too long in that bath. Don't you worry. Okay, settle into the hotel and find a shaving kit. Here we go. It's the world's most deliberate walk animation of all time. Must be a little bit of a, a, a headwind today. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to look for my shaving kit. I'm going to go downstairs to the pharmacy. I've, I appear, I'm going to rehearse my speech for when I get down there. Hmm. Good day to you, Mr. Holmes. I have appeared to misplace my shaving kit. I would love to get one from your fine emporium. What? Ah! <laughs> oh, God. What? I've heard of Needlepoint, but this is ridiculous, Holmes! Marie. Holmes, I'd like to apologize. I appear to have triggered your spike trap by accident. You may need to give it a quick reset. If up is on screen, characters can equip items they have in their inventory. Press up to equip an item. Oh, she's toast. Those are alien spores. She is now incubating a chest burster. Or, if we're really trying to mix it up, a back burster. Mm. Don't. Supermassive, please. This is David Cage's domain. You just play it cool, okay? Bad nudity, bad. Lady, you are steaming. Oops, it turns out the water, my love, the water is actually hydrochloric acid. Jeff? My name is Holmes. Um, I'm gonna investigate, I suppose. <laughs> okay, Mr. Sneaky. You can't sneak up on me, Mr. <laughs> Holmes. Hello, my What are dear. you doing in here? Jeff! I can do this. I don't think he can quite hear you. <laughs> But Jeff's fine. He's okay. Oh my God! Your choices matter. All right, she's torched. She's rinsed. Don't fight it. Will only hurt more if you do. Is this because I took the face powder? What? What are you? What have you done? Calm yourself, sir. I've seen your wife has had an accident. She do be What's moaning. Your problem, sir? Oh, well. This also seems pretty bad. Is me playing dark and darker? Green Goblin voice? Sleep. Gas. Yo, dude, I knew it. She's girl bossing. Tactical roll.
She's planking. Marie! You're wasting your last chance to tell him that you love him. <coughs> my bad. I knew I should have grabbed the Bombay Sapphire down there. <laughs> Dude, the underbite is so good. What's the emote that's like the the caveman with the underbite? Well, I'll tell you, there's no way I'm staying in this place ever again. That's Grug, thank you. Well, I would do, because we live in the era of the gig economy. I would never give a one star, but I would two star this place. My wife and I were victims of a double homicide when we stayed here. On the other hand, our suite, the honeymoon suite, was fit for a king. Hello, welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. I'm starting to think this guy might be kind of a bad dude. Hey, hey, don't, don't do that. Don't play this song on me, you piece of junk. I know this song is, this is my ninth time playing through the Dark Pictures anthology. You think I don't know that this song is a content ID match in a box? Honestly, I think I'm saving you, Chad. This is it has a certain pentatonics vibe. Chad, who is uh Jesse Buckley? I know Jesse Plemons, I know Jesse Pinkman. She's the new rising star. Isn't that Ariana Grande? She's in Chernobyl. Okay, hold on. You know what? Let me take a look here. <clears throat> One moment, please. You know what's annoying? I was about to look up Jesse Buckley. Instead, I saw that I had a spam text. I don't know <clears throat> if this is just an Android thing. I got a, a push notification that said, hey, you got a text, but we sent it to spam. But it still shows up as a notification. So I got to go to my spam folder and read the spam message and then delete it. This so way, when you get a spam email, they just shadow filter it into the, the garbage can so you never see it. I didn't know spam texts were a thing. Well, it, it, maybe it's not a spam text. It's uh, from number 000 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, and it says, Good morning, text me back immediately. <laughs> and I got another one that uh, yesterday that said, Your Amazon package is delayed. Please call us in order to get it. And I know that's a scam because uh, I use Amazon to order a... Um, a fridge water filter every four months. My package! Oh, you're here. Have you been waiting long? Welcome back. I do enjoy seeing a familiar face. Last time, no one survived. Wrong. Wrong. I wonder if you were even trying. That is not true. That's it's simply false. Have company. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here, watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is me when I stream Marvel Midnight Suns to one eighth of my normal viewership. The they might go to for their art to be made pure. Art. Can elicit all sorts of reactions delight 
inspiration, desire, yes, flatulence, but also doubt, boredom, fear, frustration. Dread. The way you react. Who made this? The decisions you make. Fred Fox, you can just walk over it. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark pictures. They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices. And sometimes it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. Usually not. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. This is gaslighting. This is gaslighting 101, you gaslighter. That's very much against the rules. You think I'm supposed I to trust you just because you rented a, a, a badass vest and tie clip combo? I don't know who you are. You could you could just be any I've geek off the street. The They're very old. People used to call them obbles. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. It's a Look chocolate out. loony. You'll find them in the strangest places. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly make it worth your while. Well, shall we start? I'll Game tell you, this guy book. needs a Herman Miller. I will be watching. He's got absolutely none upper back support. Nil, not applicable. Hey, Kate Wilder. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on Bro, she's spitting though. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. Okay, Tomo, you want to get sure, out? It's getting a little spooky. I don't blame you. everyone. I I'm working on it. I. Hey, I'm Mark. I study photography at UCLA. Oh, hi, Mark. A great time. Really want to get back to some serious photography. People talk, people talk, people yeah, talk. It's a, it's a job. I've done a key grip and lighting test for years. See a problem, light it. You don't often meet someone like that. Man, how do you even start? Great subtitle work. I'm just, listen. I'm sick of being on my own. I'm not trying to like nitpick. It's just like it's one of those things where you think like during testing you would be like, hey, during this, the game's like two hours long. Hey, during this like four minute stretch, you can't see the subtitles at all. Can we just, can we move it down a little bit? It was so on track. It was, uh, it was a very beautifully conceived and, um, Ted Raimi? Didn't quite, uh, uh, hit the mark as I would. Is this the guy from Mad TV? Michael McDonald? I think we've heard quite enough. Enough? <laughs> oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. <laughs> you don't seem to All right, in that case, tell me more. I was born with the devil in me. Yo, this is the Dan actor from the other games. I, I, I didn't realize it before, but now I see it. Help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deep, your honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else. And cover the ground with more cement. Cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. He's bluffing. Found innocent on, on all 7th, charges. 1896. Herman Mudgett, a.k.a. Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. What this book His presupposes is, from the force what if he hanging. didn't? Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders. But his investigators sifted completely the flat he left back of the head following his path from city to city the number grew significantly nearly 200 lives america's first serial killer and possibly the worst as long as you don't count those clowns in dc <laughs> he was buried as requested under concrete was he hoping to hide from god's judgment or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? Trick question. His brother owned a concrete factory. So It was one final parting gift. What do you think?
and he got him good. To be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. Hold that thought. <laughs> Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking. Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. Is your refrigerator running? I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. <clears throat> Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh, I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. <laughs> I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m. Be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, you know how the younger generation is. They don't really like it when you tell them that they're gonna have time off, and then they're I like, "Psych!" Please don't waste my time. Cancel your plans. We're gonna go film some rich weirdo for two days. Of course, we're in. I'll get them there. I promise. Let's do it. What Dumet is my you. man wearing? We've the Steven Spielberg fit? Right. There's no... Up, this is so minor. Oh, I'm Why have a limousine with such little trunk space? Sorry. Are you? You can fit 30 people in two bags? Like, it's just no, not... Lights, it's not practical. Behind it. You're right. This is gonna be grand, people. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. Anyone? Road trip. <laughs> Road trip. Is limos bussing for real? No cap. The one for the road trip. The road trip is real. You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say. Topeka. Here we go. Caracas. Me, no money in my pocket. A dead phone and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That Just like cool. Lagos. It was 100% your fault. I told you we're not doing I Lagos again. We, Lagos wouldn't so? have, La, Lagos wouldn't have been Caracas if you just listened to me. He's rich. He's a recluse. He's obsessed with H.H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this? Just trust me. That's a no. A talk boy? Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that- Oh no, we're going to see the new Louis C.K. special. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that may share information that can we know affect about my this? business or lifestyle. There are rules. <laughs> All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I, I would like to leave now. This place, his rules. <laughs> Look, what he's offering. And you're the place. asshole. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do it. Bro, you're getting paid in exposure um, too? For the show. For the show. I'm telling you, this is gonna be great. It's okay. Some, that you, my, you said that in Caracas. Some of my, uh, my media literacy tendrils, my spider sense is tingling a little bit. Somebody didn't give up their phone. And then he's gonna be like, one of you didn't give up your phone. And then they're gonna be like, Jessica. And she's gonna be like, I don't give up my phone for anybody. But then that's what's gonna like keep someone else alive yeah, at some point. This guy gonna help? <clears throat> no, really, I got it. Bro, I drove here while you hey, sat in the bro. back. Why are you complaining? Is your suitcase? She's got the, she's got no respect for the the gig economy. Oh, there's like no clearance. Are you, okay. you can just throw it in reverse for a second. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There. Come on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly um, up there. 
the, the visuals will be great and we can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. What are you it's like a... I'm fit as a butcher's It's like dog. three flights of stairs. Mark, this is crazy. This is crazy. We'll three flights of stairs? Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. What are you... It's not that high. Shoot some footage from the top of the lighthouse. That's, that's impossible. And without my phone, I won't even be able to close my rings. It's a joke about Apple Fitness. Oh, I guess we have to mantle. Okay. Maybe, maybe it is tougher than I thought. <laughs> Why are there so many cuts? What, you don't like that it uh, is edited like Liam Neeson jumping over a fence in Taken 3? Hey, guys, hurry up. Okay, I'll be jogging if you don't mind. I'll be vaulting. Oh, I see you, big man. He's going up the stairs like uh, the valedictorians late for calculus class. Did you see that? Whoa, holy cow. Loo, like three steps at a time. Warning, cliff erosion. These cliffs are subject to erosion and may collapse into deep water without warning. Anything for a shot, right? Doesn't look too serious. Warning, cliff erosion. Yeah, I can read. I can read. I'm going to say we trust it and not die. It's a great idea. Sign is something the lawyers made them put up. I'm sure it's fine. Hard disagree. Owned. Press space to jump down and access new areas. This is me accessing a new area? How did I get into this bloody nutshell? Thanks for backing me up, man. What? About getting this footage. No, for the whole trip. You know some of the crew can be challenging. To work with. Jamie and Kate would never have agreed to come if you hadn't been on board. I figured that the episode was such a mess. It was. It did seem really boring. Right. I'll give you that. You need to yeah. jazz it up a little bit. I guess we do. I'm. I as much as I've poked fun, I am kind of a sucker for the uh, the trope of. Um, Okay. Misunderstood oh genius will stop at no lengths in order to make entertainment for other people. Maybe it's because I relate to it. Downtime? Why would you want to do that? You know. In memory of the victims of the great storm of May 1st, 1907, in which 187 lives were lost, the crew and passengers of the SS Cassiopeia, which crashed into the rocks at the base of these cliffs, skill difference. The rocks stay winning. You're just like Fletcher for real? I understand references, Tropic Thunder references. Wait a minute, that's my birthday? We have a 115 year old in the chat, hello? I thought I was the only one. Bro, he, you see he just cleared it. This dude is dripped out, Jay, I hate it. Look at, I mean the, the khakis, the loafers. Button-up shirt, tie, vest, and then, like, the North Face jacket on top of it. The Steven Spielberg baseball cap. He's wearing, like, six different outfits. This way? Yeah, sure. Why, why not? Let's just squeeze ourselves through the bars here. Should be no problem. Press up to toggle your light source on and off. Hey, when we wrap, I'd like to take a couple weeks off. Go see my family. I need you in post. I really appreciate that discerning eye of yours, you know. I got a lot going on at the moment, Charlie. Oh. Right. You're just having a casual conversation? Like, I, w I would be... My, my mouth would be frozen. I'll be fine in post on that. You should do the same. Take some time out. You got any family? You can go and buy. There is no shot I would go in wow. here. Baby toy is bringing the game up. You, got hiding in some you can hear somewhere. that? Skin him a rink, a tink, a tink, skin him a rink, a do. <laughs> How's that marriage working out? Well, from what I hear about real marriages, pretty damn good. 
Oh, you're just yeah. basing that off of the two people who got murdered in the prologue. Press space to balance. Okay, I can do that. Oh, I guess I'll use my, my right thumbstick. Even though I'm playing the game on keyboard and mouse, I'm, I'm going to assume that that was my mouse. I don't know, maybe it was A and D. No big deal. Press space to squeeze through gaps to reach inaccessible areas. Is this a disguised loading screen? <laughs> okay, it startled me oh, a little bit. Not, I'll give you that. Not, you know, just hanging out. Maybe it's I was in a. I was bored. That's how they got me. I was in a right. false sense of security. That's I'm so dumb, it got me. Well, it's the thing, it's like, oh, I love the big steps, man. It's so good. Heavy high school energy. Jump scares, they're always, they're designed to get you. I think it's just, you, you have to consider your own reaction to it. Some people get, they go into a horror property and they consider jump scares cheap and they're like, I am superior to them. I'm just like, whenever I get jump scared, I'm like, ah, that was fun. I don't mind. I don't mind being startled in a safe Coming. environment. Yeah. Just looking at the light on the mist. How is that going to fit into the show? It just caught my eye. Coming. In your opinion, which of these characters the use the Peloton? Can't exactly turn okay, it this off. guy is old. He looks. He's as fit as a butcher's stuff. dog. There's no doubt he uses the Peloton. Uh, this guy, you know, he's probably in his early 20s. I'm going to say no Peloton. I'm going to say this guy predominantly does uh, compound lifts in the gym and a little bit of jogging. I did, it's, the, the Peloton is more of a, a, a middle-aged, try-to-stay-in-shape sort of thing. And then when you're young and you have that ambition and, you know, the endocrine uh, makeup that allows you to, to build muscle a little bit more easily, that's when you, you're like, why would you ever ride a bike when instead you could just blow out your... Uh, Cervical disc uh, doing 500 pound deadlifts for no reason. Okay, hold on. When you're young, you don't have to rely on gamifying your workout. Jay, you got it, you got it backwards, Jay. People who are 19, they're like always trying to find a fitness trick. It's always like, I downloaded a game, it's called Fitness Hero. It goes on your phone, and uh, instead of just learning to enjoy jogging, now it's a podcast that tricks me into thinking zombies are always chasing me. When you're old, you're like, man, this is like the only free time I'm going to get all day. I'm enjoying the jog. Factory to close. Exciting times. Bro, like, this is the only reason this town existed, is because of the fish factory. Show some respect. Yeah, who do you think caused a run on uh, Ring Fit Adventure? Did you see him shake when he held the paper? It's just true. He's, he's a cardio bunny. Doesn't have the forearm strength to hold a, uh, to hold a piece of paper. Don't scare me here. Don't startle me. I remember muscle confusion. Wait, muscle confusion's not real? You don't have to do overhead presses while sitting on a, a BOSU ball in order to make your stabilizers work harder? I'm clicking. I'm clicking. Rip to my Logitech mouse. Crow sounds remarkably like the Jingle Cats. This looks pretty old. Press down to equip an item. Charlie can use his tie clip to open locked boxes. <laughs> Incredible. This is why I main Charlie. Yo, it's an obol! They could use. They could be used to unlock dioramas. Find a penny. 
get up. Look, grass is clipping. Sorry, I give you a hard time. Good grass no, clip. I really couldn't make these shows without you. That's not true. I may be driving this car. What car? A it's a metaphor. Car, but you're the one who keeps the engine going. Well, then it's why don't I get paid course. like the guy who Jesus, keeps the engine try going? Try to give someone a compliment. Thanks, Charlie. I get it. Some objects can be pushed and pulled around. Uh, I I wanna push you around. Well, I will. Well, I will. I wanna push you down. Well, I will. Well, I will. <laughs> Maybe you have to pull. Maybe you have to grab the handle. Listen, this, I'm again. I'm being a hater. This is not what I. I don't. I don't want to pull from this. I don't want to have to pull laterally. Let me. Let me push using like the the way the human body is designed. Instead, I gotta. What is this? Hold. Like that's not a natural motion. I guess I, it, that's just a hater comment, but it's, it's muscle confusion. Maybe I should have told him I was going in here. Just a little breaking and entering. How are you not in jail? <laughs> just a little bit of batter, mate. Just like Topeka. Christ, what the hell is that? Approach a hiding place and press Q to hide from threats. It's a cat. Don't worry, it's a cat. It's not a cat. Nice to meet you too. Maybe it's a cat? Maybe it was a cat. It's a cat? I don't know. We don't know what it is. Alright, fair enough. Whoa! What the hell? This is the Jaws ride at Universal Studios? Sorry, I had a flashback to uh, that time I was in Anaheim. Sorry, I should use my, uh, my light source. Just need some fresh sheets. Just a little drapes. bit of plaster. And six gallons of sanitizer. If you'll excuse me, I will not be traveling through the doors that are closed that I can't go to. And will instead be going up the staircase. Why is he breathing so heavy? Maybe he's not on the Peloton, man. Maybe he just skips lunch. Well, okay, after Charlie, you then. I'm getting an uneasy feeling about this. Somebody has a taxidermy hobby. Relax. <laughs> Some hobby. Oh, well. What in God's name is this? Looks like a bird. I, I'm not much of a zoologist, but... Ah! It moved. It's, it's a robot, man. It moved. Yeah, because I'm, I'm moving it. Oh. Ho hold on. The titular dark picture. Actually, it's a jackdaw. <laughs> it's... You called it a crow. Here's the thing, etc., etc. I don't even know what I'm doing. I presume. Okay, the ladder takes us to the roof. Hey, hey, uh, Chris, you brought the camera, right? Be okay. Right? Be okay. Look at this. It's perfect. Come on, get shooting. I want you to pan across the lake. All this work and like five people are going to watch this on Netflix. It's going to show up on that carousel for like 15 minutes next to like Is It Cake Volume 9 Celebrity Edition with celebrities you've never heard of and just get immediately like sifted to the bottom of the pile. Ten pseudo celebrity chefs get gifted a budget of food bucks. They have to use the food bucks to try to recreate your favorite snack foods. But here's the catch. Their opponents, who are also celebrities, choose their ingredients. How did he know what our show was about in the first place? Uh, actually, I didn't ask. That's weird. 
Who asked? Let's just play nice, okay? Hello, <laughs> Mr. Lonnet. That's me. I'm Grantham Dumet. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. This is Mark. My Mark, man's just driving a Aaron, floor? Jamie. Ladies. And this is Kate. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dumet. I'm looking forward to seeing all it is you have to offer. We truly appreciate this. Lovely to meet a you what all. It? What say we get underway? Again, I really can't thank you enough for this. Why is he dressed like a of like course. a greyhound bus Did driver? Great uncle, you said that. Um, Let's get to where we're going. I I'll thought those were those later. coats were like sure. factory issue for greyhound bus drivers. I didn't know that they just sold those at the store. What do you mean he looks exactly like me? I don't have a goatee. OMG, he does. Did you see the post on the subreddit that was like NL five seconds after he says friendly, friendly, and dark and darker? And it's Steve Harvey on Family Feud going, KILL! It's so good. I'm going to go walk my dogs. I mean, honestly, you got like 50 minutes before anything happens. If If I can rely on my previous experience in these games. There'll be like a couple of scares, or startles maybe is a better way to describe it. To um, please, let's and then there'll be like one up. situation where if it's you're good. asleep at the keyboard, you someone here? could like fall no. down the stairs and break their neck and die. Sure? You don't seem sure. But the real stuff it's doesn't start to kick off safe. yet. But we are a long ways from help if somebody gets hurt, so please, take care. Looks like things have buttoned up tight around here. God. This way. Don't worry about your bags. I'll make sure they're brought. Uh, try not to cough up a lung, Charlie. Let's just honestly say nothing. Do, how do I choose? What the? How do I choose? I don't know how to choose. The mouse doesn't choose. I did, nothing chooses. Mr. Dumet. It's just a short walk. It won't take long. You're right. He takes his security very seriously. He's got a sign that says keep out. We'll get in. Maybe you should be asking what he's trying not to let out. Jamie. Just saying. You watch too many horror movies. He values his privacy. We've known that right from the start. We've known that for about two hours. Just, Just a bit of privacy. Go. Mark, get your camera. I want to grab a quick intro from here. I need some shots leading up to the house. Don't need the whole journey. Kate, talking to camera, then I'll direct you from there, okay? No we got like a script or anything? No recording of me at all. Is that clear? I'm a very private person. He's just having a bad no hair worries, day. Discretion is Lona Entertainment's motto. You want the usual intro stuff, Charlie? Please. The light is good. I'm ready to go, Aaron. It sounds clear. Okay, let's go for a take then. Is Kate's face ready? Bitch, I'm always camera ready. Stop trying to make me like you. <laughs> what the hell was that? And Are they dating? I've just arrived on the private island which claims to have genuine artifacts from H.H. H. Holmes' reign of terror. I'm heading to the house right now. Perfect, Kate. Now turn to face the house and start to walk. I told you I was heading to the house. Okay, Do I look like a liar? And cut. We really do need to get going. Anything you say, Mr. Dumas? This way. I gotta take a busload of college students down to Georgetown in 15 minutes. Let's go! I want you to go look around without him knowing. The man is entitled to his privacy. He's cagey. I want to know what he's trying to hide. What do you want to do? What you did that time with those cops in Glendale. Ah. Seriously? Rio? So is Rio then. Ah, oh, oh, oh my, damn it. Oh, this, she, she broke it in, in Buenos Aires a long time ago. We immediately need to film your bedroom, please. Stay with her. 
Why me? Because you know first aid. Remember how you patched her up? In Glendale? Oh, this, right. this is like the ninth okay. time the they've leaned on this back. trope. We were making fun of it in yes, Midnight sure. Suns, and in Midnight Suns, they only allude to it. The devil and me, we're only like 40 minutes into the game. Been taking acting classes again? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, remember? The, just like the Tom and Sophia. And we're the scouts because I'm charming, and you can hotwire your way past security. Oh, Come yeah. On. Just like Indianapolis that one time. Oh, she was, I thought she was going to kill me. I saw an injury like this once, centuries ago. For the Lore Masters, it's a Midnight Sun reference. I know a lot of you are not watching it. Doctor Strange summons a tornado out of his hands and flings a Hydra guard into an explosive barrel that blows up, doing 90 damage to Venom. And then the... What is his name? The Hunter? The Hunter says... I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Hey, oh, really? Can I ask you something and get a straight answer? You know, you know, you making a smart-ass reply or taking a shot at me. That works both ways. Excuse me? Fine. Oh, tell me the truth. Who throws a shoe? Honestly? Show. Maybe. There's secret, sort of secret fetish unlocked. It's Quentin Tarantino's house. You think that's likely? No. No wonder he At doesn't want it to be filmed. Get some nice B-roll. Hey, you can, favor, by the way, you can't film any of my shit. Please bring your camera crew to my weirdo mansion. Make it make sense. An oval! I, I've heard tell I can use these to unlock dioramas. This won't stop me. I don't know how to read. It says private property, keep out. How about that? Oh. It's a bit of a scramble. Just a bit of a scramble. Is that an Arthur reference? Well, yes, it's a reference to the meme from Arthur. But I aged out of uh, Arthur. So it's like That's a. It's stolen valor. I was I was a slightly too self serious to watch Archer or um, and well Archer to, true to be fair but to watch Arthur as a uh, as a fourth grader just a bit of a second hand reference. Do you want ants? That's how you get ants. Classic. <laughs> oh man. Oh, okay, I see how it is. Anything you can do, I can do better. Uh, he could have told us to dress for a trek. You're in denim. It's the, it's the fabric that built America. Also, you're the one who chose to go jumping across rooftops, like Unshen Andalusia. If you were just walking on the staircase, it wouldn't be a big deal. Thanks for the concern. Really. I have no idea. It's got to be WASD, right? I don't have an R stick on my keyboard. This shit is limb grave. It, it is certainly, it has a limb gravy in quality to it, doesn't it? Okay. This is like the kind of shack where, as like a 15-year-old, you find a plastic bag full of old Playboys in it, in the woods. Wait a minute, the shack moves. Do you see this? No, the train moves. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not much of an engineer. Is Kate vacuuming? It's every day, bro. Do you live out here on this island? Shh. Get down. Oh, dude, chill, family? chill, chill. My wife is. She died. Oh, shit. Sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. Come on. We're about there. They didn't see us. 
Let's go. This is ridiculous. There's nothing out here. She's right. She is not wrong. What are we doing? Get this man a Dyson? This shit is a Dyson. Dummy. Big stepper. Big tuna. Somebody get this man a shield. Yeah, you think I'm going to take cleaning advice from chat? Don't be ridiculous. I saw your room. Are you just saying things at random? Well, normally I like to work with the game, but it's just two ladies walking through the woods, like, complaining about the Im wearing improper footwear. Nothing's happening. Hello? All right, I guess we'll just mantle up this real quick. And then we'll mantle it. <laughs> Getting a lot of mileage out of that mantle animation. This quest could have been a cutscene. Is a rat? Uh, Jesus! Ah! There's a ferret, maybe? It's a mongoose? It's the snake to my mongoose. With the mongoose to my snake. I don't know animals. I heard you were looking for a new place. Not sure I can afford to run on this one. Damn true. Wonderful natural light, though. Looks like you have family. <laughs> Bro, this photo, it's like... <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, it's something about the, the way the kid looks, man. <laughs> it's, he's dressed like it's uh, 2022. His wife is dressed like she's from the early... 1900s and i don't even know his kid is like photoshopped in there it does it looks like a, a cruise vacation like green screen photo you're not wrong that's so good look he doesn't know what to do with his hand point and laugh you don't know what to do with your hand you got your thumb in your pocket how'd you we read about that pose online online on the internet how to look natural in a photograph Sorry, Mediterranean Cruise 21. That's a good one. I shouldn't laugh. I always do the, you know, I had to do it to him post. <laughs> okay. Don't know how that's going to help me, but that's fine. Miyazaki, you son of a bitch, you've done it again. Door does does open from this side. I think that when we take the streetcar up, they're going to notice that we were not walking with them the whole way. Uh-oh. Maybe like a, a groundhog is watching us? Keep looking. What are we even looking for? I don't know. We're looking for anything, if right? I wanted to go on nature hikes, I wouldn't have moved to the city. Oh, this relax. Oh, these millennials. Oh, this is dangerous. It's not in my job description. It's not in the legally binding document I signed when I took this job. Just get over it, okay? You think it was in Grandpa's job description to get on an old steamship and go to Europe and win World War II for the good guys? No, he just sucked it up and then, you know, won one for the, the Gipper and then uh, came back with undiagnosed PTSD and kind of took that shit out on his family for the rest of his life. And you're like, oh, I don't want to trespass in some weirdo murderer's house. Like, get a, this is cushy, dude. This reminds me of shit summer camp. Maybe try skipping your avocado toast in Starbucks, and then you could be the person telling the young people to do stuff that's not in their job description instead of the one that's doing it. 
Kim Kardashian was right. People just, they don't want to work these days. Nobody wants to do like an unauthorized breaking and entering at some idiosyncratic stranger's house. Start shoving their hands into fuse boxes they're un completely unqualified for. You see the control panel? Is it even rendered? I don't even think there's power. What am I looking at? <laughs> Something's not right, man. It's not rendered right. Okay, we gotta get we gotta get power to the fuse box. Also, who wrote these instructions? Come on, what does this even mean, man? Why would the fuse box ever have instructions? Like, who who made that? It's just the the sheer mechanics of it are mind boggling. Can you? Yeah, there we go. Bro, what are the on, honest question? Did they think they were making like Shadow of the Colossus? Like, what are we doing? This is, I. It's been like eighteen minutes of just walking in the woods. Like, do they not understand why people play these games and like them? It's for the, it's for the cinematics and the scares and the QTE stuff. It's not for whatever this is. Oh, never mind. I got an obol. I'm back. Yoink. Uh, seven of them. Dude, that was a silver obol. It's, uh, these are IOUs. That one's for a Lamborghini. I'd keep that one safe. Excuse me. <laughs> Feel, excuse me, guys. I, I have to get power to the um, to the fuse box. Couldn't I have just I, I solved this problem just by walking what up with there? the rest of the group? I think, but. Okay, and then we'll use this, uh, presumably we'll press a button on that, and then it'll be, you know, Crater City. Okay, I see. What, what about over there? Follow the wires? You genius. Oh, it's locked. It's locked. What's your master plan now? Never mind. I think I... I I'm sorry that I have to climb up this laborious ladder again. You're not wrong. My ass is like legitimately playing the witness right now, apparently. A toolbox? Can I have a tool, please, to put on my tool belt? Something around here. I'm gonna hazard a guess we're gonna switch this thing to on. Maybe we can get this thing working. Is it really stealthy to uh, flip the power main and then drive a tram up to the house? Instead, I thought we were trying not to get uh, discovered here. Why is she so pressed? Like, you just... You can help me out a little bit. It's not a tram, it's a funicular. Jamie, I'm a people person. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Press left to equip the multimeter. Jamie can use the multimeter to fix power boxes. We're gonna flip this one. Then... We're gonna flip that one. And then we're going to go down just one right there. We're going to flip that one. Yeah, we'll go to that one next. Thank you. Then we'll go down. Down one, please. Nope. There's really, like, there's no excuse, man, for the controls to be this bad. Why am I using WASD, the mouse, and the arrow keys?
Am I crazy? Um, I might be the best to ever do it. God damn, I'm brilliant. What was the meter for? Uh, I understand that, like, if you work as a software engineer, when you see an electrician that's a master at their craft, you probably, it, it appears to you that they're doing nothing. But actually, the fact that the meter didn't move just shows you how good of an electrician she is to begin with, okay? If you'd been using it, that meter would have been going, wow, 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 wow. So don't act like you know. Hear that? I'm gonna hide real quick. I'm gonna leisurely walk over to this rock and, and press Q on it. This <laughs> Walter White. <laughs> Sorry, wrong Jesse. Meow. Okay. If you'll excuse me, I'll just be walking around the perimeter to see interactable objects. And then uh, proceeding with the rest are. of the game. Warning, hazardous substance. We'll just crack this open real quick. Warning, is it warning is a hazardous substance? There's a, they, in California, they put that shit on everything. It's like Frank's Red Hot Sauce. You buy anything in California, they're like, hey, just so you know, this water contains harmful substances known to the state of California to cause, like, birth defects. And you're like, okay, well, I guess I'll just uh, die of thirst then. Maybe you could start packaging it in something that doesn't do that? No? Okay, just... Hey, we've got to inform the consumer that this... Uh, this product required for life also will contribute to your inevitable hey. death what was the point man oh god that's so much better i guess i just needed to rest it for a minute i think i'm okay you found a shortcut up the hill i really need you to stay where i say you got it mr Dumet. we're all here now let's head on everyone stay under the watchful eye of mr Dumet, please kate What do you think? A summer camp from hell. It's literally just Wait, like I'm nature. We're gonna find out what's up his sleeve before too long. Don't worry about that. We did get uh, like five extra obols though. Coming or what? Uh huh. You afraid of heights? Maybe. Bro, he was shimmying across that, yes. like, narrow ledge not but half an hour ago. He was maintaining a conversation oh, with me shit. at the same time. Die. Just go. <laughs> oh my god, relax, Mark. Bro, look at this bridge. It's so stable. Bridges don't just collapse. Okay, how do I choose? I'm gonna say empathetic. You can do it. You can do it. Eyes forward. Don't look down. I got it. It's fine. Is it though? Well, honestly, if your ass could just get off the bridge, he could just I like can't. sprint across. It's just water down there. You can swim. Besides, the bridge looks dependable ish. Stop jumping. Come on. I'll help. That's it. Look, it's fine. I'm not looking. <laughs> Don't look down. Yeah. <laughs> See? Not so bad. If you could just move, I could just get across real quick. <sighs> can you just get it? Can you uh, give me some space to get off of the bridge? You always knew how to get me through the shit, didn't you? We should catch up to Mr. Dumet. 
God, I need a girlfriend. What are you talking Where about? She'd be on the other side of the Holy bridge. Like, why? What's taking you so long? Come on, let's go. We're losing the day, people. It's fine. Just go. We're gonna be late. <laughs> It's not going to solve your problem. You always do this. Fine. I guess I'll just go by myself. No? Okay, then go across then. We're waiting. After we're two hours late because she had to do her makeup. Tell me I'm not sitting in my car till 645. I go inside. Yes, wow. She's stepping out the damn shower. Like, can I help you? Yeah. Daryl. This won't be a waste of a weekend. Private property, keep out. Hello. <laughs> Ninety minutes later, Whatever yes. I was like little hope. She was like, eh. I was like man of a dan. Uh, Daryl. I made seven other FMV games. Greg, oh, no. Oh, Finally, I suggested no, The Devil in Me, the game I knew she wanted me to play anyway, and she said, if that's what you want, see right there, uh-uh. Bro, why did you invite so many people? You know what, because this guy is actually a pawn in the machine. He's like, uh, he's being co-opted by a, a, an actual serial killer and he was like they're going to kill my family if i don't get you guys to come here because this is it doesn't make sense that he would be so private and then he would also be like come to my house it, it, and be so skittish about everything hey spongy thanks for the gifted subscriptions thank you kate's makeup case is slowing it down erin cigarettes blue backpack Settle in, and I'll meet you all at dinner. At eight. At eight? Mr. Wait. Timber, I cannot say thank you enough times. This it's, is it's six thirty. Eight? I told you all this was a good plan. What is this, Spain? <laughs> I told you. I thought this was America. We should be eating at quarter after five. Oh, sorry, that's just my pin number. I just keep it uh, up on the wall so I don't forget. This is not Monka S. It's literally just an old woman in a chair. Oh, there you are. Busy, busy, busy. Okay, it's Monka S. She's like really old. You. Yes, mother. Will she place the key into the lock? You're jumpy. Oh my god. I think I peed a little. Huh? <laughs> I was... I don't think we're the only ones here. Yeah, the, the guy brought us here. Out a window at us when we were outside. That's who I saw. A little girl. Mr. Demet probably has family, a staff, maybe friends. Who knows? That said, this place does give me the willies. It's, um... It's unique. Are you singing? Oh, yeah, that's my being scared song. This is my don't be scared song. Sing it and I won't be scared long. Doesn't really work. I bet. 181. Uh, I felt I something like, like a discomfort, like right here. This is me. I don't know if it's 
and, and I apologize for using the word. I don't know if it's concentrated cringe, but it was actually like a, it wasn't just acknowledging that something was cringe. It was actually like a, a, a physiological reaction. Hang a second while I unpack, then I can help you find your room. Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Yes, thanks. I'd end up lost, probably. It's, it's just a hall. Yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. You put the torches on the left so you know you're going back to the lobby when they're on your right. And here we are. Well, it's, um, cozy? It is not like one of those capsule hotels. Let's see, at least we got our own room. Mm, cozy is fun. If we have to double up like last time, it's a matter of my morning. You talk and you Can I do sleep. a second take of that one? Not sure I ever told you that. Sure. What did I say? Actually, it was just a bunch of incoherent swearing. Oh. I was awake. I was reading Kate's social media posts. Ugh. Me when I'm reading okay, someone's social me. media posts. But she's been kind of nice to me. I mean, I think she's more upset about Mark than she lets on. Lies. She's a robot. Foreshadowing. Uh, where's the bathroom? Wait, what? Old school. Ah, uh, gross school. What do I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I gonna walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Huh? Shows what you know. <laughs> Might be what is that? a little Why? dust on the Jesus. bottle. I feel like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out and lecture me and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah, he does that. But we're not on the clock. Not until we're rigging to shoot. Which is hard to do drunk. <laughs> I'm not suggesting we get full on a hammer before we work. Why are you doing that? I'm thirsty. Yeah, I'm not going to drink also, that. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. I don't... Cute? You think I'm cute? Hmm? Oh. It's honestly one of the all-time drops. That thing is like 400 meters from where it started. Want to share mine? Got to stick on my own if you want to share lip cooties. Thanks, but I can find mine. Where'd it go? Uh, <laughs> it's uh, all the way against the wall. See it? <laughs> Shit is dusty, dude. To scare me now? Don't worry, don't okay. worry. It's a wet cough. It's not a dry cough. Her ass is not gonna make it. You sure you're okay? Gameplay. Could you click sure the motherfucking okay? button? Yeah, maybe me scaring you didn't help, did it? No. But seriously, it's not your fault. I just, I... I try to pretend like it isn't a thing, you know? These damn lung diglets. I try to mind over matter it. But dust and allergies and... I just need to be more careful. You sure? Sure. I'm sure. So, uh, it's an inspiring yeah. story. See, chat, don't let anything hold you back. If someone with asthma can stay in a hotel, you can do anything. You gonna try that? And now you're poisoned. It's not that bad. You're not lying? It's picon. Decent vintage. Sure. I'm getting... That shit is decroted. undertones. A hint of citrus. Don't drink it. Lady, you, you can't handle the dust. What's wrong with you? The amount of moldy sweat dots. Oh my god. She's on death's door and you're you're poisoning her? I was lying. This wine is trash. Oh, sorry. The wine is trash. Totally lied about that. Really? Uh huh. Sorry. What I, I forgot to say here. when I was in Walmart yesterday, I, I saw one of the trashiest things I've ever seen. 
just driving my shopping cart through uh, the the produce section, I, yeah, there was a crushed just, can of Pabst Blue Ribbon together, sitting in the bin Charlie with the oranges. Charlie always on me about being more professional, and I get it. No, I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't appreciate. I don't know if somebody it, or, or, like just had it on their person and left it there, or if they were if they have a problem. Um, so they were like, oh, I'll just have a nice little trip to, sure, why not? Nice little trip to Walmart and uh, maybe get my drink on as well, but. What are you doing? Uh, oh my you God. baited me! <laughs> she baited me! Bitch! I'm just fucking with you. I wanted to kiss you for months. I just was scared to make a real move. What the hell? They got too much, too much neck work in there. You are Sorry. incompetent. Sorry. You're not going to make it. Who is that? Knock, knock, knock. It's Governor Greg Abbott. What are you doing in there? What are you doing in there? We tracked your phones. <sighs> um, enjoying yourself out there? What the frick, Charlie? What the Charlie. Now, what? I didn't you say that word. What? No, I was just about to knock. What do you want? Did I, did I interrupt something? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. Yeah, yes. If this place is running on a generator, we need to know <laughs> See, what it's Charlie was whacking him. I don't care what you guys talk. are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room, and I need a fucking cigarette. These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank you. I've just been down there. Look, give me 10, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can't we plan after dinner? After dinner is going to be like like 9.30. Are you crazy? The trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You've got 10 minutes. OK, we'll be down in a few then. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. Well, he's not very nice. To be continued? To be continued, then? Yes. Definitely. That is if I don't uh, get... Good luck finding your rooms. Hay fever poisoning. What do you mean she died? Well, how'd she die? <sighs> Old pillowcase. Come on, come on, let's go. Let's go. I knew it. I knew it. Slipped on a banana peel. Where the hell are they going? She's got a problem. X-ray text after telling you is safe. This is one of my, my favorite memes. The dental hygienist after assuring you that the X-ray poses no threat. Well, actually, the dental hygienist should get into a suit of armor before they press the button because they're exposed to the... Ra yeah, I know! It's just, it's just funny. Okay? Tilda Swinton? Charlie, Charlie's bedroom. 7.27 p.m., almost time for lunch. Oh, Kate wanted you to have this. It's a copy of a random walk down Wall Street. Navigating the maze of anxiety. Are you fucking kidding me? I think she thought it might help with your stress, or... Absolutely not. I'm not stressed, okay? Do I look fucking stressed? Uh... That was rhetorical. Just a little bit of rhetoric. Your cards came out nice enough. Oh, yeah. Embossing. Makes a huge difference. You old guys love business cards. Old That's school. damn true. You old school guys. I also put Charlie can use his stock. business card to open locked drawers. Foil. Damn. I should have had 
one ready for me. Jamie can use her insulin to stave off a blood it's sugar final. attack. I, no. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. <sighs> Okay. We'll be methodical. Be methodical. Thank you. Look, stop tearing around in there like a maniac. Be organized about it. Methodical. Blue bag, front pocket. I made a specific. See, I, I'm like it. pretending that I'm annoyed by him, but this is also You're me when we go on vacation. Gone. I'm like, Kate, where's my phone like charger? That. She's like, it's in the bag. I'm like, I looked in the bag. I, sure I enough, she I opens the bag. Kate There's the damn know. phone charger just sitting on okay. top. What did you, she had it like up her sleeve or something like that? She did like some sleight of hand. I'll say nothing. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient. You need them that bad? This dude's going to be smoking a, a dookie cigar. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically it's not legal to smoke in bars, so. Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. Okay, maybe you should just check the bag one more time. Just a bit of reading. Okay. Sure. Not going to read all that. It's my spare cap. Exactly the same? <laughs> well, it suits me. What's weird about that? Bro, who smokes, still smokes cigarettes in this day and age? Like, you work in Hollywood. Shouldn't you be, like, micro-dosing ayahuasca every day or something? I can't believe we've lucked into this. Are you worried it will make our other episodes look cheap? They are cheap. Can't be helped. This will be the one that people remember. The one that wins an Emmy? Exactly. That's the spirit. Stick with me, Erin. I'm going places. You You're following her, like, literally as we speak. Let me worry about that. You stick to making sure that my life runs smoothly, and I'll make sure you keep working. Sound good? Uh, sure. <laughs> good evening. Thank you for allowing me to contact you directly. You know what this reminds me of when they put the plain text on the right side? It's like when you're watching a show on TLC and someone speaks perfect English, but they're not from America, so they throw the subtitles on. It's like someone from Denmark speaks perfectly, very slightly accented English, and then they throw on, like, size 72 bright yellow subtitles. It's insulting. I've spent several years constructing the ultimate Holmes tourist experience. We have not yet opened to the public. I consider a man of your knowledge that could provide insight in value that's invaluable before our official opening. Please, should you accept a limousine, we'll pick you up underneath the railway bridge at the corner of South Wallace Avenue. Okay, sure. Uh, red flag a little bit, but. Hello? Hey, Charlie. I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Erin, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your bags and picking up your laundry? Rude. Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. Let's see so who stayed here. Ah, uh, yes. I, Jackie Fiddles, I remember I that. You should get an assistant. An assistant. Scott Thorne, oh, Harrison Lee, Lewis Lee, idea. Kurt Hall. An assistant. A personal assistant. Are you still sort talking? Of. And then I could help out with the editing. Pardon me? The editing? Just a bit of editing. I suppose I should be thankful. It's just my cigarettes that are missing and not our gear. The audio mix. Look, I just think you've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, I suppose it is. Sorry, I'm figuring out this uh, newfangled contraption right here. Exactly. Bro, can't you just keep them in, like, in your pocket or something? I don't Maybe understand. Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. Mr. Dumet bailed, brother. Didn't you? You, you saw him. You saw him get on the boat. I am directing. No, but I mean real movies. With a big budget and big stars. No, she didn't. The Eric, other girl did. Yeah, but they were close. In the work that we do, Hold on. The very important work. 
the truth is the star. Service is our guarantee. Oh, right. The heck? Yeah, sorry, Charlie. Somebody else sign in? Can we move on from this? Hello? Check the other pages. Ah. No? Okay. The honeymoon suite. Paul Bufano stayed here? Paul Bufano, Paul Bufano, remember the night I told you you'd never be a good sound mixer because you don't have a detail-oriented mind and you kept losing my cigarettes? You kept saying it's the cigarettes you smoke that are going to kill you. It's those T-bone steaks you're eating that are going to kill you. If you'll excuse me. A Jack key. <laughs> Aaron. I found the key. Just a bit of unlocking. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to turn the page. Wrong. Okay. <laughs> Secret found. There we are. We all signed in. The Morellos were here. Rage must have been playing. Tom Morello, nowhere to be found. Bro, he's at the Four Seasons. Come on. He just puts his family up in the, in the murder house. <laughs> when they try to argue, Tom, can we stay in the Four Seasons with you? He's like, no, no, chicken, no, no, chicken, 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 no thanks, chicken, no thanks. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. That a girl. Search the bar for cigarettes. What if he Hello? just decided to quit instead? What if this was the this is the straw that broke the camel's back? Hello, Miss Kelly Schrader. Once again, I'd like to thank you for the incredible work you and your team achieved at the hotel. In honor of them, I spent the last several months applying the finishing touches. I'm proud to say we're almost ready to open to the public. Okay, come to the ceremony. Why do they keep saying this unique hotel experience? I'm sure you're going to have an interesting time. They need to hire like a public relations company. All their copy is written in such a menacing way. Yes. <laughs> yes. My obols! Damn it. <laughs> Look at this fucking pace. I've never seen Marlboros. And I never freaking will! It can't be this easy. I knew it. Hello? I, I don't know. I thought you were. I just thought you were uh, my partner there. Didn't even see you. Use the card to open it. You geniuses. I don't. I don't believe that I. I can. You're absolutely right. I can. There's a metaphor in here somewhere. Next round's on me. Promise. Happy birthday, Polly. Maybe take the money out? Oh, he, he got it already. Okay. Yes. Love daddy. <laughs> Oi. Oi. What am I what am I doing? Oh, if you smoke that shit, you're going to get every disease they've ever discovered. They probably got, like, real lead in them. No. No, please. I'm having a really shit day, and you've just made it worse. Is 
It's the kind of shit your doctor tells you. You gotta smoke five of these cigarettes a day to promote circulation. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. No, the intruder spotted. Dude, it's prey. What? No, come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. Jump scare incoming. Get ready. Uh, antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes. Engaging kill me. Right, you know. That's it. I'm going to get my cigarettes. <laughs> And they are the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah, I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. He's been doing this for two hours? And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? That's non remarkable, apparently. No big deal. I love this, these incredibly mundane scenes that have no tension at all. And then at the end, they're like, you should have been tense. Something was going on in there. You should have been. Not everything was as it seems. Rewriting everything I come up with. Wow, you weren't scared at all? You should have been. Retroactively. Nothing. Just give me a sec, and then I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. Bro, Never she likes you. Stop stop solving your Rubik's Cube and have a conversation. I fuss for a whole week before you turn down that job offer, all because you have to take one extra train to get there. I will be cynical and joke about the job. I turned down that job because that would have left you alone with Charlie. How cruel do you think I am? I'm being serious. So am I. Fine. I'll drop it. Great. Let me grab the camera. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? Yeah, I don't remember. Where were you? Decent. Top moments in gaming in 2022. The riveting discussion about the light. Um, I'm not going to be like... We can get Jamie look, we don't have any romance right. going on right now, even though she held my around. hand. I'm not just going to drop like a dinner, weird compliment on her out of nowhere. That's kind of creepy. All evening. And to be honest, I'm at capacity with Jamie. I get it. Mark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish or both. Can I say something? Before we... Can I say something? We agree that we're sticking to just the job. Right. Which is why you can't just roll up and drive by psychoanalyze me. This I... isn't Topeka. Okay. You're right. That wasn't fair. I'm sorry. We don't need to rehash stuff. Let's just work. Can I say something? No, you're right. I, um... Uh... You're right. We agreed. I'm sorry. Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> Where Please. to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Ah, let's yes, the find balcony. There. How's the new place? It'll do for now. You like it? It's just a place to keep my shit in crash. Short-term lease, so I can take my time to find something I really like. That's... Hmm. Smart plan. You said I needed to be out, so <laughs> I got out. Get I was complimenting you. No, just saying. Get blasted. Can you focus a little? Sleeping on the couch in the studio while you obsessed over finding the perfect place with the right wall color near the proper train station or bus stop or... Maybe we should just add this topic to our discussion no-fly zone list. Yeah, you're probably right. So, since we can't do it tomorrow, is next weekend okay to come and get my stuff? I thought we were just going to talk about the job. Whoa, there, bucko. I was just checking for light. 
Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird-ass rules. I don't know what to say. <laughs> what are you looking at? Oh, here we go again. Time to be lectured. Anytime she stops walking, I know I'm about to get. So if Dumet catches us, why do you wear your Why do you wear your shirt like that? He did say not to go wandering. Did someone tell you to wear your shirt like that? Down and get in here. We. So maybe we should take care. I'm not scared of that guy. He just he's he's helping out. He's like a groundskeeper. I'm not scared of the working class. Shit. <laughs> The That's hell is that? Some kind of wooden phone? This takes me back. I used I to have a desk. Out of my desk in middle school. Rebel. <laughs> Was he the devil? The truth behind America's first serial killer by Joseph Morello. It's like an analysis of your worst nightmares. Me, when I'm reading the new Morello book, a must for Morello fans. Morello fans have been eating good this year. Look at this wallpaper. Nah. This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. Sure, you start pressing buttons. Manny Sherman, born January 1, 1956. Come on. You know all this. What do you want? What's this? You've been doing your research, haven't you? Why are the names so it? weird, man? What are my favorite television programs? Is this what uh, Benedict Cumberbatch's brain looked like on Friends, Sherlock Holmes? What is this? Friends. E N D S. Ends. Ends. Split ends. Split. Burnt ends. As if I wasn't an original? Well. Maybe there was one man I found myself a little fascinated by. Henry Howard Holmes. Why? Because he was numero uno. America's first. The guy invented the trade. He set the benchmark, you know? Learn your history, Monday. Read a book. You think because I stuck a blade in some people and get off on it, I'm not smart? I, uh, allegedly killed 13 people before you got smart enough to find me. Crazy. The, okay, the impact font is so here. good. <laughs> I like it as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the ghost. There. See that key? Just need to find a way through. Maybe your productions would be a little bit better if you stopped spending all your time, like, what? sleuthing. If you actually did some, like, uh, you know, script writing and shooting and, you know, you, like you ran multiple takes and stuff like that, like... She's right. Island beaches with dead fish, animals in the wood. Could be anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell. Parkour. <laughs> oh, well, if you'll excuse me. Okay. Can't imagine why we did that, but that's fine. Not afraid of heights anymore. 
I think he was afraid of water, okay? I don't think he's, he was afraid of heights. If it ends up being that he's afraid of heights, this is a complete nonsense. This shit is Resident yeah. Evil 2. Now it's really Resident Evil 2. Just walking around picking up garbage. Oh, sweet, a noble. How many of those we got now? Ooh, a silver oval. Spend my Christmas obols at Swanson Mills, buy some dioramas. What are we doing? Dude, it, it's actually Resident Evil. <laughs> Hello, I can't see anything? I just want to see some stuff. Just trying to see what I'm... Trying to figure out where this thing's... Oh, did... Okay, I see. I see. I understand now. We need to put it here so that we can bridge the gap. Sorry, that, that one was my mistake. Hold on, we gotta come at this from the other side. Just gonna, just gonna squeeze right by. You just gotta do a little three-point turn. Just gotta, <laughs> just gotta squeeze right by you there. Hey, there we go. You saw this has to be right. You saw the way it snapped in there. Riveting. Chat, I'm back. Did he get his cigarettes? The cigarette um, thread is still unsolved. The cigarettes, I, I hate to spoil the most riveting plot point of the game so far. It should work. Mark? They got stuck okay in there? the vending machine. Right what? As a result of getting stuck in the vending machine, he said, I'll get you back later. Miyazaki, you genius. Now I gotta move this shit back again? Me, when I drive someplace and I'm tired, I realize the thanks I get for driving there is I gotta drive my ass home again? Every kilometer you drive is just another kilometer further away from your house? It must weigh like a hundred kilos. I know it's not even on wheels. Maybe it's got like runners or something. I don't know. It's pretty amazing either way. All the, the, another thing that bugs me about the super massive games is that all the environments look like PUBG loot before they made it so like useless shit didn't spawn on the ground. Just like a bunch of like detritus everywhere which normally i get that they're just trying to like build an environment that feels like lived in but it's really annoying because you constantly have to be scanning everything to see if there's anything interactable to keep people alive so i'm constantly like mousing over like environmental objects that are just there to confuse you like i feel like i'm playing like a hidden object game or something like that really This shit's locked from the outside. <laughs> He's clicking. Oh, sorry, I gotta. My mistake. My mistake. This is, don't don't do this, dude. This is Suspiria. Door does not open from this side. 
uh, the key. Excuse. The key, I said. Thank you. Balcony. Got it. By the way, no big deal. I'll do everything. Guess I will then go back up. Then I will go down, and then I will open the door. Nope. It's not for this door. Wrong, idiot. Psych! That's the wrong number! Where is she? Hello? John? The open door? I'm losing it, man. It's, there's only one explanation. They, they actually don't get it. They don't understand. Balcony. There we go. <laughs> you don't get it? But like nothing is happening. The pacing is, is so horrendous. I feel like in, in all the other supermassive games, no matter how, like, you know, jank they were, at least oh. something happened. Oh, come on. It's not that high. Wait, he's actually scared of heights? He was just doing parkour. I, I was giving him the benefit of the doubt that he was scared of the water. What are you worried about, Miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. Wow, she didn't even say thank you. I take it back. Possessions belonging to victims of Triple H Holmes. They have to, why'd they write it like that? Come on. Reminds me of uh, there's a Canadian muffin store. I don't know if it's still around. Hey, check this out. It's it was called mm, Muffins with like four M's at the front of it. Put it on. What the heck? You okay? No. I just. This they do be popping out of the walls. <laughs> See? Well, what is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. Some kind of suicide squad? It can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. Hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. It's Holy so cow, you are it's so Come insanely on. bad at Charlie everything. Waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Charlie is emptying a hey, revolver into the cigarette vending machine, to trying to get his fix. It's not eight, you liar! It's seven fifty. You think I can't be responsible enough to show up for dinner on time? It's a what, like two floor hotel. I don't need to leave ten minutes early. You know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. Um, Charlie can be a pain in the ass. I know Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Did you see his notes? Yeah, I saw them. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my That's face. true. I'd leave for dinner ten minutes early if I had to climb over three cabinets and under a fallen stone pillar and then sledge a bookshelf 30 feet across the room, do some parkour, kick down a ladder, and then sledge it back, and then use it. Okay, sorry. 
That's how directors have to That's be or whatever. That's how directors have to be. It's their job. They have a vision. Ego has to play into it a little bit. That's why I just shut up and point the camera. That doesn't mean he has to be an asshole. No, but imagine if you were in his shoes. 40-something, still waiting for your big break. Kate, this show is the closest he'll ever have to success. I guess. Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana at Entertainment. Get out while you still can. Good for you. That's... That's definitely the right call for where your career is going. That sounded very sincere. Because it is. Sorry, I have a deep voice. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all Bro, it's so echoey in here. You think that... What a stunning... I knew it! ...give up news and be an actress. I was quite moved by all that. Fucking Oscar-worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. <laughs> I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Whatever you're Bro, I was plans, just nodding and saying, right whoa, now, that's crazy. You, you can't... Whoa, that's crazy is not actionable dialogue. Employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonnit employees are professionals, yes? So start acting like it. Great. Happy? You have a future, and now I don't. That man is a goddamn child, and somehow we all sink to his level. Lady, would you quiet down? The acoustics carry in here, okay? It's old. I don't know what to say. Hey guys. <laughs> did surgery on a grave. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just pour Mark. Let's all just relax. We're, this is, we're two minutes early. Just chill out. He's probably in the kitchen. Relax. We just sat down. Give the man a moment. He's the host. I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Let him cook. <laughs> Mr. Dumet. I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet? Yeah, back to it ain't coming. Wait, what, why? You saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Can't be. You must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. They're in a big <laughs> ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another what a mystery. Charles Lonnet plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for shore? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? I'm sure he's got a good reason or whatever. I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they deliver. This could work to our advantage. How? Well, think about it. We're still here, surrounded by perfect visuals. The plan is still on track. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leap to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet? As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm starting to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lower your voices. Why? He's not here. Or is Wait, he? That doesn't explain why he's ditched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you... You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Mm. Oh, God, Shit. Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not helping, okay? It's just fine. a little bit just of banter. Don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. 
The machine was broken. The bitch of it is, I did find a machine, but just like everything else in this fucking place, it's ancient and broken. So what are we doing? We just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? I don't care at all the if plan? I die. Everything is in sucked true lately. In entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us, and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. Well, here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. I honestly thought he was going to stand up and kill himself. That's just the, the vibe that I got from this dinner so far. Now, I would like to toast all of you. Really? I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of ten. Saved. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested. Just let the cigarettes go, man. And finally, to our newest recruit, Erin, we would be lost without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? Thank you all for your hard work. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go uh, Cheers. climb into the garbage disposal Cheers. and hit the button real to quick. Us. Mazel tov. What we can get here can take the show to the next level. Sure, if we have time to get it all. Yeah, he totally hurt us. Nah, no way he'd say all that nice shit if he heard us. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. You brought it up. Maybe one of you should get chased by like a demon or something and then trip over a little branch and then have to mash W until you crawl away and then like he's going to put you in a wood chipper but then you hide and you hold your breath. You go, shouldn't be hard. And then you could, and then you would just escape. I think it's weird. Dumet hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. What do we want to do first, Charles? You're the boss. Thank you. I think it makes sense for us to start in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things would begin in the murder castle. With what light's already in there, we just need to set up a couple of our own. Oh, we thank can make God. It look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Dumet shows up? I'll be having a strong word with him. If he tells us to stop, I'm going to be having a strong word with him. He's put us in this position. All right, everyone grab what they need, and we'll meet in the lobby. Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No you mistakes. Know me. <laughs> Perfection. If he comes back, I don't want him to see us fucking about or arguing. Bro, you're the one yelling. We're on it. Right, guys? Fantastic. I'd love to hear that. Shouldn't take me long at all. Great. He's like, great. Great. Please. I can't bear it. They took my spare hat? Now it's personal. That's well, just me watching Black Panther Hi. in the other room. I thought she had a gun. I guess in some ways it's kind of a gun. Hey, Engineer D. Perez, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you.
If you'll excuse me. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to use my directional microphone to find the source of the moaning. Or we could save ourselves some time and you could just tell me where your mother's room is. Your mother. Hello? Answer your telephone. Okay. Um. I guess it, I my ears were on backwards. My mistake. She do be walking. Walking, I can't. I don't know what it means, but I do see people saying it. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. I'm about to be scared. Illusory wall. You don't need to investigate every sound in the hotel. Like other people are doing stuff here. The hell is this Resident Evil puzzle incoming? Oh, here we go. All right, we'll try to avoid that one. Cherry, there's an evil resident. You you stayed in the murder hotel? Jerry, they took they took my points. I got a great deal. Yeah, the deal of a lifetime. A very, okay, funny man, laugh it up. You would not be laughing if you saw what I had to go through. Let me guess, murder, murder puppets, Jerry, murder puppets. <sighs> she do be crying, though. Somebody watching Legends of the Fall in there? Somebody watching the end of Minari? Somebody YouTube searching the moment the portals open in Endgame and watching it over and over? Sorry, it was me watching the Rugrats movie. Bro, oh, what? Where am I going? It's getting spooky out here. You can tell. This shit looks like Quest 64 out there. I would probably not go into this room personally. The damn Blackberry? Okay, this is it. We got, we got to focus. Finally, it happened. We got to focus. Those are the shoes she was wearing in the, in the shot we saw. We got to be on your A game.
Never mind. First, we gotta set up the the boom mics real quick. <laughs> she's, dead. she's dead, dude. She fucking died. Breakers. I've never used an inhaler. Can you spray it into like someone's eyes like pepper spray? Silas? Yeah, kinda? Okay. Hello? Hello? Mr. Dumet? Are we, have we not established Mr. Dumet is clearly not here? This lady looks 10 years younger. But how? It's uh, honestly the worst photo ever taken. If you're trying to advertise someone's youthful visage, you can't even see your face. Password is 0451, okay? You're going to laugh. I almost said 0452. Name Ned Yoke. 0451. That's the classic, right? Due to winter sun, pool opening hours have changed. Winter sun? Might be time to join the 21st century, guys. What are you talking about? It's, it's from 2017. It's in the 21st century. She doesn't know? I'm just confused, man. P.F. Chang's takeout menu. Mr. and Mrs. Mark Edwards. Illegible. As instructed by you, we've made the requested amendment to your will. A codicil has been added, which states that in the event of both of your deaths, the sole beneficiary of your entire estate is Richard Belknap. We recommend that a copy of this letter is given to your legal representative. Please remember you can view any of your life insurance documents by logging into your online account. Okay, time to enter the 21st century, guys. Okay, <clears throat> turns out that's locked. Who could have known? Locked? That one had an icon. Just throwing it out there. Not trying to be a hater, just throwing it out there. Great. How many dioramas yeah, have you seen? That's kind of what's throwing me for a loop. I feel like I've been playing it for three hours. I haven't even talked to the storyteller yet. He showed up before the game even started. I would have thought that we would have... He would have had uh, several droll bone moles by this point. How delightful. A clandestine conversation made public. For the betterment of the group, or the detriment. Anyway, the don't step on the crack in the floor or Aaron will die. See you next time. Enjoy your memorabilia, dude. Ben at Killer Finalia. This is H.H. Uh, Holmes Authentic Hat. It's $24,000. Seems like a bargain. Hopefully it's not made by fanatics. I forgot our number already. <laughs> oh, we're going to click on four next. Then we're going to do five. Then we're going to go one. My God. Thank God. Something from this century. What are you talking about, lady? What are you so obsessed with the 21st century? Hang on. I got to put my multimeter out. All right. I, th I think I got it. Don't worry. Hey, Valentine, thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. We're going to go here, here. We're going to go up one. We're going to go here. Follow it up with one of these. One of these. One of these. One of these. Hang on, I got, I got lost. <laughs> I got lost. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that. Okay, we're going to hit that one. This one. This one. This one. 
this one, this one, this one, and then this one. He's crazy. Achievement unlocked. 0451. Bats! Bats! Wait, I don't want to go in here yet. Yeah, there might be more stuff in here. You never you might get a vision or attention. something. This is a severe weather storm warning for the greater lake. <laughs> that information is uh, probably not going to come in handy. Dear Mr. Bugman, following our discussion regarding renovating the hotel property for the purposes of converting it into a tourist attraction, please find over Leaf a breakdown. It will take approximately 10 weeks. Please contact me if you wish to proceed. Seems pretty cheap, honestly. In the whole scheme of things, you know, a million dollars. 10 weeks of pipe work? What is this? Uh, your mom's semester abroad? <laughs> so, I, I had no idea where the punchline was going, and uh, I it only got there too just too late for me to stop it okay so i'm sorry i'm sorry the hotel spa we're currently negotiating a formal contract and would like the remaining crew to conduct a cost assessment okay cool it's a construction invoice congratulations No, oh, here we go. This is more Sherlock. Never mind, it doesn't work. Ugh. Something from the 21st century, please. My ass listening to the Cocteau Twins. Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. How did an orphan? <laughs> that would be so good. How did an orphan, bastard, immigrant, decorated war vet, saddle the colonies with more debt? Your uh, mentions when you insult Elon Musk. Sorry, I just I had to think of something. An oboe! That's not an oboe. It's just a dang old cassette tape. That's not even from the 21st century. Yes, sir. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. Thank you. Can you just gotta just gotta tip it over here? I can just get you to tip that over so I can get a vision, please. Just tip that over so I can get a a vision. Nope. Okay. Nope. I see. All right. God damn it. <laughs> you got to put it back. Put it back in the talk boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just click real quick. That's the secret. I had to build my own little castle, just like Holmes did. Most people like me do their business where their target lives. That's just asking to get caught. Holmes had the right idea. It's all about the honey trap. <laughs> you bring me some smokes, like I asked? Lucky Reds? Lucky Reds. Lucky Reds. Yes. Oh, these are like gold in here. Gold in here. Damn, that's good. So, yeah. The honeypot. Holmes built a hotel about a mile from the World's Fair and called it the World's Fair Hotel. <laughs> Which was the and style at the time. Papers alongside ads for the expo. 
Rubes from far and wide assumed it was the official hotel. Come on, Pa Kettle. Take a train in from Nebraska. Takes there it days. is, in all its glory. They roll up into that joint, ready to rest, get to their room, and whoops. What do you know? Holmes had a gas pipe hidden under the bed and poisons them. Or maybe he pulls a trap door on them. Maybe he separates them and makes one watch through a window while he slits the other's throat. That was me! That was me! That's the advantage of a honeypot. No shortage of targets. <laughs> That's why I picked all those houses north of the airport. The whole neighborhood was scheduled for demolition, and yet all those lovely realtor ladies must not have gotten the memo. Call up. As a contractor, tell them I'm flipping. Call up Have as a contractor. And look at that. We're the only two people for miles. The first couple times I wait for a plane to fly over just to hide their screams, but after a while I realized they could scream as loud as they wanted. No one was going to hear a thing. That's what I remember most those screams you can try to understand why I am the way I am you can forensic science up all the data you want I'm just a sick fucking freak I'm not a normal guy officer I'm a fucking weirdo I know what you're thinking maybe circumstances drove me to this sorry fate no I'm I'm a bad seed I got a pretty twisted sense of humor. She has no remark about this situation, which is completely normal, by the way. Crispin Glover and Pikmin's model? Don't, don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. I kill my life. Oh, it's locked. It's a locked door. Almost three hours in, nothing has happened. Excuse me, are you forgetting... Um, the lights? We've almost got the lighting set up. You forgetting that part? The cigarettes? The dude almost got his cigarettes. The kiss? How did it end up like this? Sorry, my mistake. Surely we've looked at some dioramas. Does he know? Kill me? Kill me? Where am I? This is the door we came in through. We came in... <laughs> There's another door in the room with the stage. Okay, I can't just go back the way I came. That'd be too obvious. There's another door. Yeah, thank you, thank you. How are we looking, Jamie? Little electrical drama, but we're about good to go. He even has the chair. That's so this cute. This looks great. Very gaslight. If we had a grip with some foil, I could get a good flicker effect going. This would be fine. I just got a bit more to do once Kate's standing there. Shouldn't be more than a few minutes. That was a goddamn lie. Hey, thanks for that stuff you said at dinner. It was nice to hear. We're all on the same side. Sometimes we forget. <laughs> what the hell? Must have been the wind. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Hey, hey, help! Oh, somebody help me! I can't see a thing. I... Guys, guys, please. Aaron. 
Get me out of here. Get me out of here. I can't see a thing. The door is stuck. Break it open. It's not buzzing. I, I can't. I can't. Door stuck. <laughs> Please, I beg you. You're not hurt, are you? I need my inhaler. I, I need my inhaler. I'm gonna ask my tech, what's your room number? I. What? I'm not getting room service. You just open the door. Me when I'm doing a 10 minute oh. yoga class after a 45 minute 90s ride. Dennis I, Morton's got the audacity I, to say, breathe in through your nose I, and hold it. What are you talking about? I got lactic acid coming out of my whatever. She's hallucinating. You're imagining it. This is like our actual first quick time event. I think my ass is dead. Someone's in here. I, I, guys, guys, somebody's in here with, with me. Oh God. Wow, she's so panicky. Don't stab. Take your inhaler. Just take your inhaler. Okay. Listen, she shouldn't have thrown the first stone. Well, this is bad. Oh, no, she's fine. He's. It's okay. False alarm, guys. She's just a pervert. Or he's just a pervert. He's just... He's just weird, okay? I think if I stabbed him, he would have... Here, use your inhaler. I think if I stabbed him, he would have killed me. So there you go. First one done. Careful, we only got... We only got two 9mm ammo left in this thing. Hey. You're okay now. You 100% played this off stream before? Did you see what him? the hell are you talking? What kind of strange conspiracy theory is this? He, you know how little was, free time I have right to, to waste on this garbage? Aaron, it's just a dummy. <laughs> no, it was not a dummy. He, he had a hat are you crazy? Charles, you're working her to death. Now she's hallucinating shit from If I played this off stream, I there was not, no shot that. I was going to push it on stream right, or play it on stream. After going through the, the first 120 minutes of just walking around in the forest, jumping on uh, half walls and stuff to find a key to open a door that shouldn't have been locked in the damn first place. A lot of these the super massive games, oh, the first act. Ah, there you are. They have the same. Th you they m try to make you make an emotional decision, but if you make the emotional decision and you're like a bad guy, shoot him, then you miss the bullet, and then they come and kill you in self-defense or something. Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Charlie managed to rally the troops, though, and a good thing. The road ahead is full of challenges. Bro, you got birds in your house. I can only observe. Bro, you are a bird. Frustrating to watch. In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. You get to shape them. Your choices matter. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. Nice to see you again, sure. Sir? Let's just all take a deep breath and not lose our minds. No, Charles. We're done. 
This has been weird every step of the way, and now it's getting scary. Oh, relax. I'm serious. Everything about this is off. Kills me to admit it, but Kate is right. Why does she keep saying Somebody that? tried to attack Aaron. We don't I thought they were friends. I know what I saw. In the dark. You think I'm making this up? Everyone relax, okay? <laughs> Just give me a second to think. Excuse you. It's not exactly in my Q zone, Exit is it? Stage left, our oh so confident and sure leader. What was that? Charlie is thinking, which looks a lot like a temper tantrum. Maybe he's right. If we don't crush this episode, we're all screwed. Are you kidding me? What? I'm just I've saying. I've been waiting on you for ages to actually make a decision about something. Anything. And now this? Finally, I suggested Taylor's, the place I knew she wanted to go anyway. Sorry. Maybe I'm crazy. But if Aaron says somebody came for her, I believe her. We're not safe here. It was just a dummy. You think I'm lying? Really? I think maybe you're just confused about what you saw in the dark. I know what I saw. See? Dude, someone cut off a piece right. of her hair. Here's the plan. We've already got a plan. It's leaving. Just listen. It's 11.45. There's still plenty okay, of daylight left. And get clear on everything. Everything is going to be fine, okay? And we're going to get the footage we need. He didn't show for dinner. What makes you think you can find him now? A positive attitude. You should try it sometime. Bravo, Charles. Your delusions make for such great plans. Demet left. I saw it, remember? Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. <laughs> Would it kill you to think positively just once? I guess as far as Charlie ideas go, it's not the worst he's ever had. It's not even the worst idea I've had this evening. Don't go patting yourself on the it, back. It's not the worst idea to try to find the guy you know is not there? Whatever. I'm going. I'm coming with you. Wait. What's the go? worst idea? Cutting the tip of your right penis back. off with a pair of um, scissors? Just stay put so I know where to find you, okay? I don't care what he says. I'm done. I'm getting my shit together. Kate. I'm leaving. Stop Mom. bringing I'm that up. Now. I'm sorry. It's just been top of mind Here lately. Okay, you're right. With all these Tom Cruise sorry. doing his own stunt Charlie Mission said. Impossible videos. That outweighs having a damn job. You're right. Let's go, Aaron. Everything's going to be okay. Wait here. Can't you just stay here while I pack up my stuff? I don't want to waste any time. No, sorry. I know you're like traumatized or whatever, but I, I got some shit to do. I'll be back. No, don't. Let me just close you in real quick. Still freaked out. Can you leave it open so you guys can hear me? Yeah, don't worry. You'll get over it. Of course. Yeah, it's, uh, sorry, okay. I got shit in the Genius. dryer. Where are we going to look first for Demet? I'm not looking for Demet. I'm scouting for shots. If he pops up along the way, great. Jesus. You really don't care about anything else, do you? Of course I care. Tell that to Kate. You know as well as I do, if we're set up and a camera is rolling, she'll want to be in front of it. <sighs> look, the light is still good. We got to make hay while the sun is down, okay? I'm just going to run some laps real quick. Where'd she go? You killing him? He is. He's huffing and puffing. You're not wrong. What happened here? I... No just idea. a little bit of wind. An itemized receipt for the toilets purchased from the Home Depot for the purposes of the murder castle. Okay, it's our script. It's where I keep it under the chair. So I know this. So I know where it is when I need it. Okay. Oh, Jamie. Just Over a little here. bit of bleeding. Okay, yeah, I'm freaking the fuck out. It's just blood. Just blood. <laughs> Come on, Are you kidding me? Man. You're jumping to conclusions. 
All we know is something was dragged along this way and it was bleeding. And that's not a cause for concern to you? All right, it's a little odd. Odd? What do you want me to say? Look, it's probably just Dumet or the groundskeeper dragging in some dead animal. What are you talking about? You're stretching the bounds of realism with the writing here, man. It's probably just Dumet, the guy we saw leave, dragging in a, a bloody dead animal oh, on the rug. Presented by Grantham Dumet. Dumet? What? So he hasn't left. Hold on. Some conspicuous lighting up here. This could make for a great shot. Yes, it left some completely unrelated lady just said his last name on the radio. <laughs> Dude, these, are, these are Resident Evil windows. A mannequin's going to pop out. Can you chill out? I'm trying to be like scared here. Oof. Lovely. It's just just a bloody glove, no big deal. Just an insanely bloody glove. Oh Jade. Oh the glove did not fit. OJ. How could he have done it, Chad, when the glove didn't fit? Riddle me this. It's just fuck? a bit of pleading. Help me. Please. Please. Are you? I'll do anything. What happened? Are you okay? <laughs> what the fuck? Stop. Look. What is this? It's a fucking booby trap. You shift your weight off that plate, and this guy is getting run through by that thing. Help! Please! Help! Help me! Jamie. Bro, well, I'm honestly, I'm not, I'm not reacting. I'm simply not reacting, which is staying, I suppose. He's testing my metal. Oh. Well. <laughs> Special feature unlocked, though. Let's go. Listen, they never even gave that dude a face. There's no way that he was going to live through this game, okay? What is maybe it was just like a deer. Maybe that was a deer. No. Charlie. Huh? Let's go. You're right. If we hurry, there's still time. It's 1.17 in the morning. We can still use the light. See him. The mask? What the hell was that? Somebody stop me! We're trapped. What do we do? Break the fucking door down. Right. On three. Really? One, two, three. I really thought that one was gonna work. You hear that? Yes. What is happening? On <laughs> three, we bend the bars. <laughs> I can break these bars. You can't break those bars. Find your spirit crystal. Don't do that. Bro, is that materia? And don't make fun of me. Sorry. Wouldn't want you to cut yourself. The rock is sharp as hell and you know, super magical. It's an amethyst crystal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's by blanketing you in protective energy. 
I know. I remember. <laughs> No, no, don't call no, it a rock. No. Maybe I just feel like you should take responsibility of your own emotions and stop outsourcing the job to a crystal. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. No, oh, you gotta hold that. You can use that to, to kill somebody. I just don't want you to believe that it has magical powers. It was a shitty thing to say. I'm sorry. It's fine. This isn't the time or place to... I have to tell you something. Okay. Earlier, you brought up that DP job I blew off. Excuse me? I never told you the truth about it. About what? It wasn't a job. Not really. What are you talking about? Remember my friend Murray? He was setting you up disgust me, Murray. Fine arts. He Murray was working with this shady guy. His name was That's Joe. I think it was Joe yeah. Kerr or something. There's exactly zero money to make, so I thought you'd tell me it was insane, rightfully, because it would be. Say nothing. You say it best when you say say nothing. Say. N I mean, I considered it. I wanted to tell you about it. Things were already starting to get tough for us. Oh, no, no, no. Don't put any of this on me. This is all you. I know. Lady, go get your I crystal, okay? Stop freaking out. It would have taken me away from you. I, I guess I didn't even think of that. I, I just, it's crazy that at the time this is going on, say? there's literally a dude being turned into it, red mist to change with this. by a down, ceiling hanging scythe. <laughs> Mark, I have never once shied away from telling you where my priorities were. All right, I get it. I know the crystals come first. You better go. Let's get back to Aaron and get Whoa. the fuck out of here. Take the take the crystal. Thank you. Talking to him so redeemed. It keeps Kate amethyst is going for online during calm events. It helps keep Kate during calm events. Did I miss a word? Or did they miss a word? I felt like they missed a word. That's not a door. <laughs> That's a mirror. Let me, bro, give me my space, okay? I don't know which doors around here are locked and which ones aren't. So why don't you give me like a foot of clearance behind me? Because I'm going to be doing a lot of 180s, okay? Me when I'm running in a dream. Bro, what did I just say? It's a little helper in the yellow coat. Where do I know this girl from? First off, she's not a girl, okay? She's a professional actress. Secondly, maybe uh, in the aptly titled I'm Thinking of Ending Wait. Things. What's that? Is this somebody's idea of a fucking joke? How is this here? Did you bring this? No. Is that her? Yeah. Shelby. Matching nails? God, don't. We always got them done the same. <laughs> it's what? Shelby's That's making me him. laugh. So the guy in the back. You know him? Kinda did. He was just one of those guys that was always around. Dude, that's that's James Gunn's brother. That's Sean Gunn. It was my fault. He is always around. He's in every single one of his brother's movies. I was supposed to meet her. We were going to grab some drinks, go to a party. I slept through. It was a big deal on campus not to go out on your own. 
and Shelby waited for me when I didn't show, and that's when it. That's when Dude, it was the guy who does the sexy okay. wood chopping. Okay. I know exactly be. what you're talking about. It hey, it's the Wessel Pigeon. Knows. Thanks for the gifted Someone subscriptions. Thank this. you. What the hell is that? I have no idea. You know the one. But I feel like it's bad. What the hell? Holy flirt. Get over here now. Charlie! <laughs> Look your thumbs, dude! I'm very sensitive to this right now! I can't hold this. You have to get the fuck out any way you can. Just get the fuck out! Now! Jamie! Charlie! Charlie. What the hell just happened? I, I don't know. But I think it's really... Uh, it isn't moving. So now what? We're fucked. That has to be the way, right? Yeah, maintenance corridors, crawl space, has to be. Look for the others. Just what I needed is, is that Mark Z. Danieluski architected this house. My ass couldn't even get around when it was just like a rectangle. Uh, What's going on? Demet, what the hell is going on with him? He was nervous the whole way here. I chalked it up to him just being eccentric. There's a lot of miles between eccentric and murderous. Yeah, well, I, once we catch up to Demet, we'll ask him what the hell he's doing here. Hey, what do you think you're doing here, Dumet? You saw Dumet take off. So maybe he found out there was a killer and bugged out? Maybe. Or perhaps the man we met wasn't actually Dumet. And the dude in the mask is? It's a jigsaw type situation. That contraption, that's a hell of a lot to set up. That was planned out, every bit of it. It was set up for us to find. Which makes it even more likely the dude on the ferry wasn't really Dumet. No, it makes it even more likely Dumet is coming back with the pizzas. And then when Dumet gets here, we'll ask him what his advice is for this situation. I mean, he, he's the owner of the hotel. He's got to know what to do when it's... Mr. Dumet! Mr. Dumet! Your murder hotel walls are closing in on us! What would you... Fucker! What? Brick wall. Keep going. The damn brick wall, I know, man. I don't want to think about it. That's where I keep my bricks. What, you guys don't like my bricks? Trying to map this in my head. You and me both, brother. I think Erin's room has been completely cut off. Jesus, Charlie. Why is he messing with her? Because she's the most easily frightened. The most vulnerable. Don't you watch our show? That's what these sociopaths do. Oh, what the fuck? Is that a kid? Oh, good. You hear creepy kid voice too. It's not a creepy kid, they're scared. Creepy kid is when they go like, come play with us. Charlie, come here. Let's get this open. It's a pole. Wait, he was right? It really was just an animal? <laughs> so the last time I make fun of Charlie. And then Dumet's in here is like, sorry, dinner's taking a little longer than expected. Why, you guys didn't think I left or anything, did you? <laughs> oh no, dude, you know what this is? What? This is Scary Movie 2. You know? Where Malcolm in the Middle's brother has to give, or has to get a, you know what, from Cindy in order to not freeze to death. Trapped in a hotel, stranded on an island. Even if we get out of this room, how do we get out of the hotel? Exactly, or off the island. Maybe we just focus on one thing at a time. This room, Charlie. I found a way out. Maybe. <laughs> Look, this one swings out. We can probably force it easier than the others. Stand back. 
<laughs> He's so strong, dude. He knows my name. Charlie? Fuck. Jamie! <laughs> Holy Chibli, this game is so ass. Thank you for recommending it. Just fast forward a little. This is, she's a big fan of Selected Ambient Works Volume 2. Gotta hear this. Hear what? <laughs> <laughs> Guys? Hello? Hey! Charlie? It's not funny, guys. I've recently Charlie? went through a very traumatic experience. Jamie? The hell is really is Archive 81. My ass would be staying in the room. Oh, come on, come on. Stop being such a... Yeah, wait, she has asthma. You can't go in there. Look at all the bareborn particles. Hold on. Don't stop. She's juiced now. No amount of dust particles in the air could stop her. Look at that VO2 max. Treatment for what? Silver Ash Institute. Snake oil. Genuine snake oil. The Silver Ash Institute. I'm starting to think... Not everything's on the up and up with this hotel. This is what my ass looked like when they finally gave me antibiotics at the emergency room. They were like, how are you feeling? I was like, pretty good. I think I'm going to die. And they're like, well, we're 99% sure you need antibiotics, but let's just spend like 12 hours doing a bunch of differential diagnosis first so that somebody 71 years from now that actually needs the antibiotics doesn't have them rendered slightly less effective as a result of us overprescribing them. I'm not bitter or anything. Yeah, do it. Do it. Push the push the button. Mr. Dumet, I want my team dead. I'll get them to you this weekend. Just Jesus. What the hell? Charlie. That's not Charlie. That's the that's an imposter. That did not sound like Charlie. Who's the cutie in well, the pic you posted? Fuck you, Jamie. Whoa. Who, Aaron? Please, my type is badass bitch, not timid woodland creature. She's shy. She's clueless. Her face always looks lost and confused. What the hell? Bro, they took all our phones. They made this all up. That was just, that was Chad GPT-3 going through Liarbird to make Charlie seem like he was actually, he set this all up. They're trying to play with my mind right now. I need to trust other people, okay? If I trust other people, we're going to make it out of here.
Dear Mr. Thompson, why don't you leave me the hell alone? Dear Miss Monday, I have tried to contact you by telephone for a number of weeks regarding your son's recent behavior in school. Hector has been lashing out frequently. During gym class this week, his teacher noticed he came to school with severe bruising on his legs. We're very concerned about his welfare. That child is the devil. She's not the devil, mama. Did she show me your boobies? I like them too. You know, uh, uh, the water boy? Plus two for the water boy <laughs> reference. Really? All right, I'll take it. Oh, here we go. Sherlock 2014. A whole carton this time. I like those you smokes. You time. knew I'd like those smokes. Yeah, I'll, uh, I think I'll save them. Save them. What, no questions? What's going on with you, Monday? Oh, you seem different. Ah, <laughs> I see that glimmer in your eye, you little devil. I can keep secrets, man. We all have them. That prosecutor is trying to get numbers out of me. You know that? Of course you know that. Numbers. They got Holmes for 27, but we know he was closer to 200, right? Can you imagine that? I wish I'd had the time and to me? try and beat that. And me? I reckon I've got 451. Sure, That's nice right. 0451. The numbers the DA is asking me about? I think he knows there's some people out there, rejects, misfits, the kind of people that when you see them coming, you look the other way. Does anyone notice if they go missing? My father always told me to leave my mark on the world. I never knew what he meant by that. Not until I watch I'm not like those girl. other killers, officer. I'm a sick fucking freak. Art. I'm irredeemable That's in all ways. I don't know if you've ever heard this one before, officer. I get a it's sick sense of pleasure out of this shit. To what this I'm really messed up. Ask people to list serial killers. Shit that and other people find unpleasant, they can think of I enjoy. Ask them to name the detectives that caught Sitting down cases. and having a nice cup of tea no with a good book to never appealed to me, thing. officer. My tastes no are a little else. bit more no one cares. <laughs> twisted than that. No one makes movies about them. No one puts their faces on TV. Starbucks? Can I get you anything from Starbucks? No yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. I'll have a little bit of uh, a little bit of violence. Officer, thank you. I've left my mark on the world. Have you? All right. I'm starting to think this guy's a little bit crazy. <laughs> Officer, have you seen a movie called American Psycho? I don't want to be here. Sorry, my mistake. Wait, no, I do want to be here. No, I don't want to be here. I want to go out through these, these double doors. No, never mind. Examine the doctor? Bro, he's holding a syringe. I don't want to get close to this guy. Jamie? Jamie? Hello. I said good morning. Aaron? You there? Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Why is he what so is soy jack, dude? You're not safe, Aaron. How are... You have to listen to me. Do exactly as I say. What the heck? 
he is bad jesting. Where are you? I don't. Just listen. Listen. There's a cupboard in there. You have to get inside right now. What are you talking about? Just hide, Aaron. Why are you telling me this? What's happening? Aaron, now. Just trust me, okay? <gasps> Straight up. I trust her. I'm going for it. Do I think that possibly it's it's GPT-3? Yes. It could be an AI voice. The voice was not her. Bro, the voice was her. She probably has a gun to her head and Triple H is like, tell her to hide in the closet. It's the only way. We're testing to see if she still trusts you after she read those deep fake texts we put for her to clearly see. He's not, he's not testing me. He's testing humanity, okay? What are you trying to light up the whole neighborhood in here? Charlie? Jamie? Hello? Where the hell are they? Hopefully somewhere safe, wondering where the hell we are. Okay, check this out. Okay, let's bend the bars. <laughs> are, are we locked in here? I can bend these Looks bars. Like, yeah. Wait. You hear that? Yeah, Is that them? Where's it coming from? Somebody's in the restaurant. W what's going on with the subtitles? Oh, I see. It was subtitling the, our, our dinner conversation from earlier. Mark's mannequin is so is good. This? It looks like nothing like him at all. <laughs> and he did all that, spent all that time sewing. Mark, what are you doing? Just stay back from it. What has Charlie gotten us into? This is beyond messed up. I don't know what Charlie's gotten us into, but if I see... Dude, why I'm am I sitting fall. here? Why is they that our conversation? And why am I bald? Man, this is fucked up. What the hell is going on? I'm bald. Me looking in the mirror, age 19. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? I'm looking for a gift for my aunt. It's gonna look at me. It's gonna look at me. They're gonna, I'm gonna, the next, whatever one, the last one you examine, it's gonna be looking off to the side, and then it's gonna go, and he's gonna go, what the frick? I'm on to you. Jesus, it looks just like him. <laughs> no way somebody just threw these together in the last couple Kind of, of. You hear that? Footsteps. And they're getting closer. It must be Mr. Dumet coming back with the dinner. Watch out. If I were there, I'd be hungry as hell by now. Dude, me too. Like, I don't want to go through this shit full, but hungry? I'd be out here, like, holding my breath. My stomach would give me away. Be like, like when you eat a little bit of breakfast, but you're stressed out, so your metabolism runs a little faster, and then you're like 15 minutes into your grade 9 science exam. It's three hours long. Don't bash him. Don't bash him. Jamie. You're like, they're like, what's the powerhouse of the cell? And you're, you're so in the auditorium, you your guys. stomach just going. We have to get the hell out of here. 
I'm glad you're okay. Also, what happened? What happened when the wall closed? The Met killed his groundskeeper. What? Right in front of us. The Met? It's a setup. He was wearing a mask, and I know how that sounds, but I'm not joking, and now he's after Aaron, so we need to move. A mask? Wait, hang on. <laughs> Where's it's almost 2023. We got separated. No way this is happening. Where does he live? Canada? Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus, shut it up! Yeah. There's an eyeball. This, it's fake. That's probably I'm that's a wolf's eye. I've seen a lot of wolf's eyes in my days. That's a wolf's eye. I can tell by the optic nerve. No oh, oh, it's real. It's fucking real. I told you. It's not real. That's corn syrup. Let's get out it's of here. corn syrup and a, and a gyroscope to make it look like it's real. That's it. Oh, it's locked. What's going on? If only we had a credit card right, right now. Locked too. <coughs> Do man. You want to play around? <laughs> get out here. Right now. Let's fucking play. Me looking at the Amazon delivery driver on my ring camera. Uh, uh, sir! Sir, I need a signature! You sick fuck. If you think I'm gonna fall for that. You have to turn into a wolf and then tunnel under the door. Jamie! Hello! Jamie! He knows Hello, my name. <laughs> you, is how you sound when you wake up in the morning and you're like, I only had two beers. And then you remember buying the cans and they're all called like, you know, Satan's liver. It's a quadruple IPA, 14%. It has like a, like a gargoyle on the damn can. Uh? Satan's Alley. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just a bit of fire. Cage key. Okay. I'll open my cage. And I'll be doing just fine. Bro, how am I supposed to operate that fuse box without a multimeter? I'm screwed. Chicago killer, victim number one. Cause of death, abdominal injuries. Me after I eat the uh, vindaloo. Plus two, plus two. I honestly thought this was a tent at first. Now I see it's a dead body. John Doe number two. I'm assuming you've read my report on the first one. Similar MO, unidentified male with multiple stab wounds. <laughs> At the Lois, I I have, I'm an identified male with multiple stab wounds. The shape of the entry wound this reminds me of Chicago victim number two. Remember, Lois? Looks like we've got a souvenir hunter here. This time the left ear has been severed. Clean incision. Probably a scalpel or razor blade. Very tidy. 
Nice job, actually. Very little bleeding. We found the killer. The deceased had probably been dead for 30 to 40 minutes when this was done. This differs from the earlier MO. If you remember, that John Doe was still alive when the teeth were removed. That would have created a lot of noise and mess. This guy. Is oh, burning. but sure, when your dentist does it, you're like, here's $1,500. Make it make sense. Doesn't really look like a log book. It looks more like it's made out of leather and paper. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not. This is just not going to happen. Ryan has left me a note saying his mom isn't well. I'm sure she died years ago. We'll see if Mr. Belknap will allow me to contact him. What is going on? Laura hasn't come out of her room and... Monica has just left. I can't contact... I can't contact Kelly. Tomorrow I will return to the mainland with Frank and Laura. This job is ridiculous. What? Just a bit of journaling. Power on. Power off. There you go. Look at that. It's just that easy. What have I done? All the serial killers be like in the opera, huh? Be just my luck if I got like captured by a serial killer, he'd be blasting like Leonard Skinner or something like that. My final moments, it wouldn't even be like a, an a incredible aria or something like that. I'd be strapped into the chair. He'd be like, give me three steps, give me three steps, say, Mister, give me three steps for the door. Just flip this one. I'm just gonna flip every switch I see. Quite frankly. Sure, why not? Oh, okay, that's why. You fell down the trap too, eh? But if I get out, I'll send someone back for you. That's me? What do you mean, that's you? <laughs> what do you mean? It's not a doll. This could be like an earnest, scared, stupid situation where like a... A goblin turned a real person into an inanimate doll, okay? We gotta, like, use authentic Bulgarian Miak in order to transmogrify him again. You don't mind? I'll just, like, switch, just flip this indiscriminately flipping switches. I don't like this. A little scared of this. It's the room where it happens. Our baby is so active. I hear I hear a lot of activity going on up there. There's no doubt about that. I guess it's a good sign that post uh, post vaccine she's she's doing okay. I can't believe I got two more days of this. I hear ya. I don't know what else to say. I am in baby jail. <laughs> I'm telling you, our daycare is like, it's the only person that takes more days off than me. But I hope she's enjoying her holiday. Use the credit card. You're right. Thank you. Thank you. Did anyone die yet? No, I have a perfect track record in these games.
because I'm crazy media literate. So I know the, they always try to, they try to trap you with some stuff. Unobol! Bro, put it in your pocket. Remember when you choked that guy to death in House of Ashes? Excuse me, he was not a sympathetic character, for one. And for two, he uh, threatened the sympathetic characters. So yeah, I, I choked him out, out of self-defense. I didn't tell him to have such a collapsible windpipe. Hold on, three fire or one fire? I mean, normally I'd prefer zero fire, but I suppose if it's the choice between three or one... I'd probably say one is better. <laughs> Investigate the screaming. Remember when Ashley Tisdale died? Yeah, but I didn't kill her. She got bitten by a vampire. And then, like, one person got bitten by a vampire, and I was like, we can save them, we can find a cure. And then their ass turned into a vampire. And I regretted that decision. So when Ashley Tisdale was like, oh, I'm feeling like my teeth are getting a little sharp, I feel like I'm starting to crave human flesh, I was like, okay, bye. Okay, this is now disabled, apparently. By the way, Kate, I don't know if you're watching this, but if I ever get like, um, if there's like a real zombie apocalypse at some point and I get bitten, don't kill me. Like, just exile me. Like, just like a little bit before I'm about to turn, just be like, bye. And I'll just go like live with the zombies. I'm not saying that they're going to find a cure. I'm just saying... Hi, honey. I'm just saying maybe I'll just have a rewarding life as a zombie. Hello. Hi. Are you having fun? Yeah. Hi, You're playing with mommy? Yeah. I just want to see you. Hi, honey. Why don't you show the camera what you got? Can you hold it up? What's that? It's Pikachu. It's Pikachu. And chipmunk. And a chipmunk. Hmm? Why did we pick it? Why did you pick it? Yeah. Well, you picked it. Remember, we went to fly over Canada, yeah. but then you weren't tall enough to get Pika. on the ride. <laughs> Is it Pikachu? Yeah. Can I get one Charmander? Can I? I don't think there is a Charmander, but you can see Charizard. Maybe you can ask for Charmander. <laughs> There's Charizard, look! Is it Charizard? Yeah. I just... Please put a Charmander, please. Please put a Charmander, please? A Gengar! Where's, yeah. where's Gengar? She, she saw a Gengar. Please put... There, it. that's Gengar! You see Gengar? Gengar! <laughs> <laughs> Ganga, Tika, some Ganga. <laughs> she does know the Pokemon names better than Dan. Cause I, I taught her. Yeah. Pikachu's surfing away. Pikachu is surfing away. Yeah. He's surfing. Ganga. Gengar got him away. Do they, do him they have away. a Litten? Is there a Litten emote? Or a Trico? She loves Litten, Trico, Bulbasaur. There's, the, the, the lizard is kind of like Trico. They do have Sceptile, but she doesn't know Sceptile. Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur? Do they have Bulbasaur? Is there a Bulbasaur emote anywhere? There's a lot of Pokemon emotes, huh? Oh, there's a Jigglypuff. I saw the Jigglypuff. She likes Chansey. Oh, there's Bulbasaur. Huh? Bulbasaur? 
Wait, who's the blue guy? Bulba. <laughs> there's a Bulbasaur. Bulba. Stop. Oh, there's Chancy. Stop posting the green squeaks trying to confuse my daughter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I saw Squirtle. Hmm? Squirtle. Squirtle. Oh, you saw Squirtle. Squirtle. Please, please, Squirtle. Oh, all they have is Charizard, honey. They have Ditto. She loves Ditto. Is there, isn't there like a dancing Ditto emoji or something? I think it's BTTV. Ah. Oh, no, Ditto. There's a Ditto there. Ditto. You see him? Yeah. Yeah. Look at the ditto. Ditto. Look at those nice. Look at all these nice dittos. Are, are you having fun with mommy? Yeah. What did you do? We painted. We read books. We cooked. We danced. Uh, we did literally everything that was uh, possible that human can do. Dance. <laughs> can I dance with you? Yeah. Here, ready? Upstairs. Daddy can't go upstairs for just a little bit, okay? You're going to have lunch with mommy, right? Yeah. You want new pasta? Yeah. I see. Daddy. Daddy cooked new pasta? I cooked new pasta last night. Dad, I like your clothes. I've got clothes in here because oh, Daddy... No, she's, she's auditing. She's desk auditing me. Daddy had to clear out the dryer before we went to Emo's house, but Daddy didn't have time to fold it, so he just moved it in the laundry basket into his office. <laughs> Bye bye, honey. Enjoy lunch. I'll see you. We'll play when Daddy's done. Okay? We'll have a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm glad we found an opportunity to get it paused. You never know what could have popped up on the screen in this game. Give her a weird phobia about uh, mannequins for the rest of her life. Ever tell you I was scared of elevators when I was a kid? Never knew why. Then one time I was like 15 or 16, I told my mom and she was like, oh yeah, one time you were like with your dad in an elevator and he was goofing around and jumped up and down and then the elevator got stuck and they had to like rescue you. I think it happened like before I, I had memory or maybe I blacked it out. I was like, no wonder I was scared of elevators. You know, I'm not scared of elevators at all anymore, but still, when like I'm on an elevator and someone's jumping, I'm just like, why would you do that? Because it's like, it's, it's funny until it isn't. Like, even if we got stuck in the elevator, like, I know we're not going to die, but we'd at least be, like, inconvenient. I'm only 45 minutes away from needing a toilet break at, like, any given second. So, like, keep jumping in the elevator if you want to take the seat next to, like, where I have to piss in the corner soon. Didn't think that through, did you? Well, My cigarettes! Praise the Lord. It's I'm sure there's nothing strange going on with this. No, do not, do not smoke the cigarette. It's going to be one of those exploding cigarettes that's going to... It's made of poison. He lost his lighter. It's going to be like a cartoon cigarette, man. Hello? Guy comes into the room. Go ahead, Charlie. Smoke the cigarette. Just know the cigarette is filled with carcinogenic chemicals that every single one of them very slightly increases your risk of getting cancer and heart disease long term. What's he doing? Make your choice, Charlie. Will you smoke the cigarette and risk the long-term health effects of nicotine addiction? Or will you shake off the yoke of Philip Morris? You have 30 years to decide. Uh, 
I can bend these bars. Looking outside on the pavement during a hot day, be like... Don't light the cigarette. You're going to explode. Hey! Hey, hello! It's I'm just here. a little bit of vapor. POV, you're my food in the microwave. No, no, no! Come on! He's done. He's probably okay. <laughs> Why'd you let him cook? <laughs> He's like, ooh, getting hot in here. I better take off my jacket. Holy cow. Um, lift the grate, dude. It, when there's fire, you have to get low. He did it though. Bro, you got it up the way you go down there. Lift the grade. Oh my god, don't make me choose again, please. See, they wanted to test your resolve. They gave you a signal that it was like the wrong thing to do, but they gave you that little piece of data that, oh no, he's the fuck dude, he's turned himself, what, that's not what I thought, I thought there'd be like a tunnel or something down there. He's, he's putting himself on the bottom rack. All right, in hindsight, I think I should have tried to force the door. <laughs> he literally... Dude was like, well, I'm gonna die. I'm at least gonna make cleanup easy. You gotta respect that. Things are starting to heat up. He might be alive, by the way. We did not... Usually in these games, when someone dies, they die. You, like, see their eyes go, like... It can be difficult working with someone you've been involved with. But I think Mark and Kate... We did not see that. We just saw him go, Ah! Ah! ...things about each other. And how do we feel about Mr. Dumet's lovely animatronics? I think they're rather clever. Some of them look very realistic. I wonder where he sources the parts. It would only be fair at this stage. You're gonna to offer, offer me a hint? Thank a you. Hint to even the odds. Here's a hint. When what two do doors think? are in front of you, don't take the right one. Let's Sorry, that's the all I can say. From the works of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Apparently, our friend Herman Mudgett was so enamored with Sherlock Holmes that he borrowed his surname. Hmm. Here. <clears throat> he has a brain of the first order. He sits Bad motionless chest? like a spider in the center of its web. But that web has a thousand radiations, and he knows well every quiver of each of them. I hope that helps. Thanks for nothing. Kylo Ren's going to show up and save us. Here's a tip, don't Let's lock yourself in the oven. Best of luck. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I can't believe he just pulled the the grate off and then, like, laid down down there. I don't think he's dead. I, with God as my witness, I think he's still alive. I don't think he was getting that door open. Do you see it was made out of, like, solid stone blocks? He did it. He did put the grave back. <laughs> he did. 
Dude, that's so funny. What the hell? I'm watching them, they're watching me. What the fuck? Wait, you hear that? Yeah. From down there. What if it's Aaron? No way. Damn it's it. another trap. It's the only way out of here. So we're going to find out. Find a way out. I mean, I got a flashlight. You can keep using your Nikon cool picks if you want, but. Yeah, dude, it's simple science. Heat rises. Is this a good idea? I'm not saying he was completely safe from the temperature, because obviously there was smoke rising from his body, and he was going, ah, ah, ah! <laughs> but uh, I think he, he probably was able to escape from the worst of it. She's right, it is very yummy. It's butternut squash-filled... Uh, Ravioli. Where the hell are we? Hello, Fresh been kind of wild and out. Make, make it make sense to me. Open up the Hello Fresh yesterday. It said it's supposed to have 350 grams of ravioli. It said due to a supply shortage, we had to send you an alternate ravioli, 700 grams. How, how are me, my wife, and an infant, well, Jay, she's a toddler, but supposed to eat almost a kilogram of, of ravioli? I'm not mad, I guess you got more for less, but like, same thing, like the, the meal that Kate posted like a week ago. They were, they were supposed to have mozzarella, like just shredded mozzarella cheese. They said due to a supply shortage, we had to send you fresh mozzarella instead. Okay, maybe honestly, it'd be nice if the supplies stayed shorted, because you're being forced to send me like higher quality ingredients. I thought you canceled it. Somehow HelloFresh returned. The Columbus Spa is now open for guests. We treat each and every one of our guests like a real work of art. The Columbus Spa. I am in the gulag. Sure, I'll head down into the pool. Why not? Uh, who? I guess I should just be jogging. I don't know why I'm... I feel like I would not be jogging in this situation IRL. There were no utensils in medieval times, hence there are no utensils at medieval times. Also, they didn't have forks, but they had Pepsi. Man, I got a lot of tables. All right, where? Oh, we got a shimmy. My mistake. Excuse me, sir. Sorry, brother. Take your time. One one person could shoot me at a time. There There's we go. Something useful around here. You feeling okay, man? And I need a little space. I'm I'm approaching the exit. I'm gonna need a little space. I get it. You're scared, okay? You're scared. You're scared of being a nobody. I gotta tell you, as someone who had a Lord, couple's massage, give me a hand. I'm not totally sure that I get it. Three, two, one, it's just like, but like getting a massage is like a solitary activity. But you're like getting a massage together, alone together. Okay. Yeah, I think it'd be better. They should reverse it. We'll so a Stay couple there. of masseuses give me a massage. Oh, that hurt. What? This, this wasn't in the script. I... 
story? What story? They didn't stack you guys up like a double cheeseburger? I wish, brother. We were just on like different tables. Huh? <laughs> Do you remember what the hint, hint was? Yeah, it was like, be afraid of spiders. There's a thousand radiations on a spider's web. Well, hope that helps. Best of luck to you. You listen to the damn monster mash? What's going on here? Wait a minute. Frank Haldeman? Frank Haldeman. Here comes a scare. Never mind. A noble! Yoink. Plot twist. They are... Uh, the hotel owner is trying to kill me because I keep stealing his priceless Roman gold. I'm disrupting his coin collection. Oh, are we lining up for the scare? What's good with that old lady from before? Oh yeah, um, sometimes these games do that as well. Stay close. Obviously. They'll like introduce like a, um, I don't know what word I'm looking for. It's not a Chekhov's gun, but they'll be like, hey, this person's gonna be important later. And then they just forget about them for like three hours. And then at the end, they're like, surprise, it's the old lady. And you're like, I know. You, <laughs> you showed me a scene of her. What the fuck just happened? It's not really like a red herring. Like, I'm sure her ass is involved, probably. The writers sort of forgot about the, the golden company. Right. Hey, buddy, I know you're scared of heights. This should be fun. <laughs> Chekhov's landmine. I'm telling you, dude, Chekhov's crystal is going to come in handy here. What the that? hell? This is too dark, dude. This is giving me damn motion sickness. An oval! There's gotta be a way through. Maybe you could, like, turn the flash on or something? That was a 10 banger. Holy cow. Bro, I can't be down here. I'm gonna throw up. This lighting is gonna make me throw up. Get me out. Mark, can you lead the way? Is it easily the most ass flashlight I've ever seen in my life? No point just standing around. I know. Turn the the gamma up. Dude, this is on like 75. They always tell you like, um, you know, crank it up until that middle thing is barely visible. I'd be making it clearly visible. Yeah, I'm like five seconds away from breathing like she is. Oh, we gotta cross this way. Oh, we did all. We really went down there just for an oval. 
There must be a way out. I assure you, I do not care. Shimmy, perhaps? We need to shimmy? We need to make a jump? Oh, we're, okay, here we are again. And then all that just to get back up, I'm sure. It was a 10-banger. Listen, I'm not trying to say, like, uh, they didn't compensate me fairly, but... I think he just died down there. I think he was a bit impaled himself on an exposed piece of rebar. There must be something useful around here. Rip to Mark. He died doing what he loved. Loved. Mark. Selectively I mean, having a shit. crippling fear of heights at times when it's convenient, but just honestly, just kind of like man moding it when it's not. See ya. He loved living. I gotta hand it to you. She married for love. She loves money. Boo. Hey, what are you gonna do? Huh. Hmm. The floor's out now? Yeah, the floor's out now. Oh, shimmying across a decrepit hotel floor? I guess that's a thing we do now. Uh, if only I'd worn my shimmying shoes today. If I'd known we were going to be doing this, I wouldn't have worn. I would have worn closed footwear. Hey, did any of you guys happen to see a creepy guy in a mask? He's right behind me, isn't he? Monica! Shut up. Yeah, sure, I'll press this. Why not? This is uh, the end of chess boxing number two. Shit. Her belly was a key. So, what, so does this guy play winner or like what happens? Spa master. How do you know my Peloton username? Ryan Hart. It's me right there. Senior demolition laborer. Number eight, Ryan Hart. Collect all ten. And you can mint them into a diamond construction worker ID card, which can then be augmented with up to four slurp juices, which will be airdropped to your wallet at our earliest convenience, unless all of our C-level executives are arrested in Puerto Rico before we deploy the code. Jesse! Okay. We just kind of walked off Thank on God. me there. Well, Come that's not true. I guess they kind of fell down a slide, huh? <sighs> He's wearing like tap dancing shoes. You gotta be like slightly more observant. Hear that? 
it is the same jump scare every time. It's just like that whole time. You didn't know that he was right behind you. 181. This is how many people have, have died in the murder holes. No! Wait, okay, so there's the groundskeeper. Please, to Charlie, Charlie's still alive, man, please. He's just a little airborne. Oh, okay. Pay me. attention. This guy's nice, remember? No, the groundskeeper was nice, except he did cut her hair. Here we go. <laughs> always run into like the the blast furnace. Dad, the most important thing is don't go into the kiln. Get out of the kiln. Hey, is there room in the kiln for me? Okay. Okay, officer. I'll put down my kiln. Joke's on you. I got another freaking kiln. Aaron, are you okay? Please say you're all right. Get me out of here. Hurry up. It's another trap. A kiln inside of a kiln. They're both locked. Shit. I did not expect that. I'm not tilting the lever, okay? They can both die as far as I'm concerned. I'm not tilting the lever. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go with this guy's false dilemma that I have to choose which one to save and which one to kill. I can't breathe. These windows are welded in place. He fucking wants us to watch. Were well, your eyes like welded open? Regulator switch. Well, Mount up. No. Not both of them. It's sucking out all the air. Just go like this. Whoever we point this lever at is gonna die. What? Do something! He wants to choose, doesn't he? Oh my god. I can't. If we don't do something, both of them will die, Mark. I don't believe you. Jamie, please. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I'm not choosing. I refuse to choose. I'm calling his bluff. And you know what? He will commit two murders then. And if he commits two murders, then he's going away for a long time. So you think you're smart right now, you sick freak. Well, you're rotten in the slammer. I'm sorry, Aaron. I... I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's Charlie. Wait, but we don't know that. I'm telling you, it was deep faked. Put it backwards. <laughs> she's co she's crazy, man. What the hell does Ehrlich Steam mean? Early? What? She just? I didn't choose anything. She's oh my god, how am I alive right now? Oh my I, god. I didn't know what to do. It's okay. You don't have to say anything. 
Thank you guys so much for saving me. This is all Dumet. He set us up. We need a plan. Uh, Forget his game. It's Strap, the least we could bullshit. do. Think about the killers we've covered. There's always a weakness. Are you suggesting we invite him to tea and psychoanalyze? I'm suggesting we use our heads. It's Charlie. That's what she wrote. It's Charlie. We gotta, guys, don't overreact. We gotta bring this Charlie right? information to Dumet and see Is what he thinks Charlie's about it. He's involved in all this. How? He did get us out here. He insisted on it. What are you talking about? That's crazy. We can make guesses all day, but if we die here, it won't matter. I'm not <laughs> playing detective. Meanwhile, well, Charlie is. <laughs> Charlie's been in the oven. Um, 450 for 45 minutes on the bottom rack, He's wrapped in aluminum foil. We need to stick together. Hang on. They're gonna find him. He's gonna be like, put me up. Hey, take, uh, unwrap me a little bit and put me under the broiler. Until the cheese melts. Left, remember? It's on the line. Maybe we could reel it in. Maybe it's not good enough. The lighthouse. Maybe we can signal for help. There's police boats patrolling the lakes, right? All the way out here? Lighthouses are meant to be seen for miles. Are you shooting any of this? No one is going to believe it without Oh my god. Well, we gotta, I told you, we gotta wait for the lighting. For the cops. Hear that? The walls are moving again. Kate, hang on. We need to stay close. Shit! Kate! Hang on! She could have made it. She does not have that dog in her. Oh man, that was so good. Jamie! <laughs> oh, here we go. Wait, oh. No, no, no. Oh man. Oh, see ya. This is me trying to find where I parked the Royal Center yesterday after coming out of the damn Walmart. Me leaving the... Whoa! No! My camera fell in the bubbling acid bath! Now the cops will never believe me! In my defense, it's like the first QTE they've given me in like the whole freaking game. I wasn't primed. An opal. Me leaving the after hours party in Brooklyn at 3 a.m. and l trying to find my Uber driver, but not knowing what a 2017 Chevy Tahoe looks like. No, do not. Bro, your hand is going to burn. There's no shot. Do not. That shit is as good as Charlie right now. Can we can we not do that? I'm still thinking Charlie's okay. Why? Obviously he's okay. Otherwise, why would he have put the grate on top of him? Obviously, don't say for grill marks either. Okay. Obviously, the grill is made of metal, so it absorbed most of the heat from all the fire around him. I see him. I'm not sweating it. It's just a JPEG. We should turn the tables. We should scare him a little bit. He'd be like, boo. He'd be like, ah! You're going to tell me he doesn't have a limbic system? Listen, I know we're probably safe, but it says hold Q on the screen. 
I'm a big believer in Don Norman's The Design of Everyday Things. If something, tell, like a door says pull, I'm not going to push on it. I'm going to keep pulling. If you want me to do something else, you should change the damn sign. Odorless paint thinner. Hold on, I know we're being stealthy. If I could just take my camera out real quick, I'm just trying to get a just trying to get a glimpse of what's going on here. Is this where we came out? Yes. That's not a camera? What well, what is this? What do, what do you call this then? Second camera. Yeah, exactly. It's just a light flasher? What are you talking about? You don't know, you don't know, what is story, Mark? You think about everything, don't you? I'm gonna hide real quick? That should do it. Bro, that's not the killer. This is a different guy. This is the, must be the, the carpenter, the hotel carpenter. You know, whenever you're staying in a hotel and you're, you have to call the front desk because your spice rack is broken and they send this guy up. Oh, excuse me, my bathroom shelf is slightly misaligned. Could you send up the, the hotel handyman? Your hotel has a spice rack? It was a Marriott Residence Inn and Suites, if you must know. They'll give me a second chance, no doubt. Note to self, they do not give second chances. He's not dead. He's, he's fine. He's gonna be... I died for the spice rack bit. I just wanted to flex. We stayed at a Marriott residence in suites. Look at, look at where my ego's gotten me. Oh, here we go. You're going to kill everybody? Yo, like, I'm not messing with you. First off, Mark is actually not dead. They're going to give me a second chance. Charlie is not confirmed dead yet. Yo, I'm not some fucking lab rat here for your amusement. That's where you're wrong, Jamie. So now what? What, there's some sort of devil inside of me? Oh, I'm free! The fuck is this? <laughs> Hold on, let me just make sense of it, okay? Just start there. Then we go here. 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 For the last time, do not pull the main switch until we get someone out to replace it, the faulty wall. Here. 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 Do you know how many question marks I got? People were saying, what are you doing? Have you lost your mind? How is he so goaded? I was just following the arrow. 
There was just arrows yes. on it. There we go. You ever think about becoming an electrician? <laughs> Not really. It's like, electrician to me, it seems like a scary plumber. It's like a plumber, but like instead of just like hitting your head on the sink, like if you make a mistake, like you, your heart gets electrocuted and you die. And I know people say like, oh, it's easy. Like, dude, you're just an electrician. You just wear like non-conductive gloves. But like, you're going to tell me that gloves are going to stop like a lightning bolt? I don't think so. I just don't see it. Like, I understand the science behind it, but like, I'd rather not put it to the test, you know? Oh, just be grounded. Yeah, okay. I'm going to wear like rubber shoes and then like electricity is not going to kill me. No, thanks. I'll leave that to the experts. It's not anti-science. I'm just scared of electricity. What the hell is this? Is a DX racer? Why is there a car seat in the fireplace? You're sick! An oval? Okay, quick oval. Was it all just for the oval? Oh, never mind. My mistake. Have you ever fixed an electronic device? I've put new batteries and stuff. Sometimes my garage door opener doesn't work very well. And I kind of smack it on my, on my car and then it works again. Oh, what the hell? I put my Xbox 360 in the oven on low once when it got a red ring of death. It actually, I know this sounds crazy, but it actually fixed it. But then one time my friend was playing Guitar Hero 2 and he had his uh, Fender Flying V plugged into the Xbox. It wasn't a wireless controller. And he activated star power and pulled the Xbox out of the... Uh, the shelf that it was on and dropped it like four feet to the floor and it never worked after that we just bought another one there's a glint you're right there is a glint here Jesus there's cameras everywhere Welcome to the 21st century, idiot. You should just put it back in the oven. You never know, man. You never know. Oh, here we go. Let's learn something. I don't like that. Um, that's, that's a 13 ghost right there. Try not to get trapped between a, a closing wall, okay? Use your brain. She just became a Jill sandwich. And I'll give it to you, the master of unlocking. Okay. Can you just step through? Try to hold me, but I bust through. Hey, smooth skin. Um, it's you. He does kind of look like a like a PNG tuber. You wanna know what it I'm is sick, to detective. I'm so messed up. Other people, how do they get this their jollies? Maybe guy, they watch yeah, a little TV. Famous painter. Maybe they watch a little, uh, they watch a little Netflix. I commit murder and other various heinous crimes. 
they will puke their guts out. Other people, you when they eat a pain? piece of crap, Suddenly they think it tastes hard. bad. I think There's that, no to me, to I'm so sick that no, I eat really. broken glass. Don't look at me like that. I look at a you piece of dog right. poop the way a child looks at a rainbow. you get it. You got to do something that matters. Make people feel something they've never felt before. Shatter the illusion that any of us are really in control. My favorite the movie? Thing you've ever done. It's, I'm not like other people, Most detective. I'm a bad seed. Movie. My favorite I movie is a it's movie that's bad. Life bleed out of it's someone. not a good movie. You see the fear in their eyes. You see the kind of stuff Feel that would make other people police. walk out of the theater? Puts me on the edge of my seat. You're not dealing with a normal one here, detective. I'm a messed up cookie. At their end. That's when you feel it. That's true art. That's what you have to be. An artist. A sculptor. I can't sustain it, man. It just keeps going. I see the gleam in your eye, Agent Monday. You're not fooling me. Oh, look at you now, huh? Am I gonna be your first? Well, come on, then. Come on, hit me. Huh? I want you to hit me. I'm right here. This room is soundproof. You don't even have to wait for a plane to fly. Where are away. they? <laughs> I think you and I are destined to do this forever. There you are. I see you now. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. I apologize. I was unfamiliar with your game. But the blade makes for such a prettier picture. You've got potential, Agent Monday. If you truly want to be an artist. I am trying to, to resist the notion to say that maybe it's possible that the killer is the cop who arrested the killer. And the, he got corrupted by the story of the killer to become a killer himself, like a mind virus. Like an it follows, but it, it travels mimetically instead of via alien intercourse. But I'm, the reason I'm hesitating is because I just, I don't know enough about the killer or um, Agent Monday. With, and with, this is with all due respect, to care? Like, I, who the hell is Agent Monday? I only know about him because of the Benedict Cumberbatch interludes. Why would it be such like a revelation that somebody I don't know is the killer when I already don't know who the killer is? Like, it doesn't make any sense. It'd be crazy if it was actually Charlie, which I do not think that it is. I still think that that was Liarbird. Liar, liar. <laughs> Sorry. Remember Broken Side? Where am I going? This game, is, it is the damn back rooms, dude. I have to keep looking at chat because like, the, just the lighting makes me want to throw up. The book saved us. Books don't so work. true. Who left the fridge open?
Yeah, I would keep clicking for this one. Nobody wants to see that. Investigate the crying? Yo, maybe Aaron is still alive. I'm <laughs> sick, detective. I would like to see that. <laughs> Stuff other people would avert their gaze from. I open my eyes to view. This is a nice sweater. Chris Evans was here? Manny Sherman, The Beast of Arkansas by Joseph, Joseph Morello. Morello. He was the author. Look at that. That wasn't Dumet on the ferry. We gotta ask Dumet about this. A beaten old carpet past outdated wallpaper and paintings, mostly biblically. Biblically? Bibsical? It's all right. It's pretty common that an author doesn't know how to spell, I'm sure, especially when they do all their writing by hand. Mama? Bethany. <laughs> Jib, did you play this whole game? Yes, in one sitting. This is honestly one of the most, like, egregious step backwards for this company that I've ever... And they do it from time to time. Like, right after Until Dawn, they put out... I always call it Due Process, but it's not actually called Due Process. And I was like, what the hell happened? They went from Until Dawn to, like, uh, whatever the bomb defusal game was called. Hidden Agenda, that's it. They went from House of Ashes and the Quarry to this. Like, it's literally, the whole game is just, with all due respect, I think it's like if you read the Wikipedia synopsis of the story, at least as of right now, you'd probably be like, please stop crying, mommy. That's sad. Please stop crying, mommy. You, you would be like, the story is like, whatever, it's not that bad. But when the method for delivering the story is you walk through like a dark ass hallway for half an hour, like mantling over bookcases and stuff like that. And then like th at the end, they're like, here's something you should have been scared of. And then you make like, you're I'm making like almost no choices either. It can't be 0451 again. I think it's got to be... It, it doesn't really matter because I can't move my... Um, I can't move anyway. Excuse me, I'd like to cancel that. I think it's 0181. Yeah, that's, that's my estimate. I agree. Or maybe it's 0182 now. Because she died. Or did she? Okay, no, nope. gotta find it in here somewhere. You know what? I mean, I know we used it on another one. You gotta give it a chance. They wouldn't do it twice. No. Dead. Say, hey, hey. Use the three digits on the back of your credit card number. She has very pretty fingers. Okay, sanest uh, chatter spotted. Be sure to tell them the three D modelers. You uh, you think so? So true. So true. Inspect. Be spotty burgled. I'm just looking for numbers. 
I'm looking for numbers. Don't see any numbers. Okay, the beast's body was burgled. The life of the wife was ended by the knife, and the beast's body was burgled. Honestly, I think I'll just open it. We, who needs the code? Oh, you know what? Hold on. You're absolutely right. The date of the newspaper. Nope. Okay. Never mind. The book. Of course, the book. And just specifically, what book are we talking about? Just so we're, I make sure everyone in chat is all on the same page. This one on the floor over here. Of course, Manny Sherman, the beast of Arkansas. Manny Sherman. So that wasn't Dumet. Seventies twenty six. It's seventy twenty six. Five head. The code is nineteen ninety nine. I knew it. Skill difference. Viewer beware. You're in for a scare. Uh-oh. Our pet's heads are falling off! Secret found! This guy's got a damn selfie stick. Dude, Charlie! He's alive! He's just chilling down there! Somehow, Charlie returned! I knew it. Please. I'm alive, but I'm very badly burned. <coughs> Smoking kills. Hey, buddy. Smoking kills. This makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah, this... It makes sense if you don't think about it. Chibli, did you do that? I'm, I think I'm the only free thinker who would say, oh, you're getting cooked? Put yourself on the, on the broiling rack. He did? Holy cow. There's dozens of us. I know we, we, we're cut from the same cloth because we did also both try to shoot that angel in House of Ashes. Maybe it was a vampire, not an angel. Okay, Charlie, from now on, no more walking into rooms that uh, are ominously lit with red lights. Okay, except for that one, if we can find the key. <laughs> what is this music? <laughs> There we go. We got to go through the, the grate. Of course. Never mind. <laughs> His hair turned silver? Dude, he, I mean, he, he was not getting sous vide -ed. He was, he was served. I hate this shit so much. What is... It's just driving me crazy that all these sections are like hallways with like nine locked doors and you got to play find the one unlocked door. Why would they do this? 
Like, you're making the game. You can make it be, like, whatever you want. Why would you make it this? It, it, <laughs> it just doesn't make sense to me. It's toxic? Yo, I have the right to be toxic. I, I paid for this. This is 57 Canadian dollars here. Excuse me? We are not finishing this today, no. But I mean, presumably, like tomorrow, it should be done real quick. It seems like we're entering the third, the third act. Surely. Well, this is a great room. Really appreciate this. I can't see anything at all. And I do not have my lighter as it fell out of my pocket. <laughs> Don't flip the main switch before you fix the fuse box. On the other hand, what does this say? Local power? Sure, let's make that global or whatever. There we go. Yo, that's a speaker. That's not a guy's real voice. Okay, well, maybe I'm not as smart as I thought I was. I know this one. You got to turn two lights on and then uh, leave them on for 10 minutes and then turn the middle one off. And then you can figure out which switch it corresponds to which light. Uh, uh. Help me. I can't. Yeah, obviously he's a robot. Did you look at his face. Sure, why not? Yeah, you know, um, honestly, I'm left-handed, so I'm going left button. Please, please, I'll do anything. <laughs> um, I'm a little ambidextrous, so I'll take middle button. How about this one? No. Please. Just leave them alone. We need to go back to the time of, of Asimo, man. You want me to press him again? I'm done. I'm done. I hit them all, dude. What more do you want from me? Top one? I, they won't let me go to the top one, dude. I can't go to the top one. Oh, you have to do them in order. Press back. Okay, it appears for a split second now and then. And then middle. That's the secret. Never hurt I paint my life. Just leave them alone. We'll do whatever you want. I hate you. I, I hate. I hate everything about you. POV, you're that guy. You're not that guy, pal. Do not go onto the conveyor belt. You could become entangled. Remember to switch off and lock out. 
Caution, conveyor may start moving without your express permission. Beautiful. Send them. Hit the button. Examine the button. Hit the button. Hit it. Hit it. I know it says don't get on it. Can't we just, like, go on the conveyor belt and ride the QTEs? I'm out of here. I'll be careful. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, probably shouldn't have messed up that first one, huh? Yeah, <laughs> hit the left mouse instead of the right mouse. Bro, just stand up. I got that one. I got that one. It's not like he's making that jump if he doesn't get hit. Let's be reasonable. My cigarettes! This icon is like, it's so... Ambiguous when it flashes like that. Pull him in. Just, dude, just pull him in. What's he gonna do? Come down here and, like, drag me? He's gonna fall in himself. Grab his leg and pull him in. From the good time, Chicago 19. Hello. Mm okay. Okay. Mm okay. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm done as soon as I can get to a, a save. Shit. I lived. It just saved. I'm the, wait until I get control of the character at least because if I alt F4 and I gotta do some of this stuff again I'm gonna lose my mind thank god what the hell is this it's a camera we're gonna start Please shooting see you too, we have to go fast we don't have much light Roger left alive. listen I found out some new information what that guy on the ferry that was not Dumet that was Joseph Morello. He's a true crime writer. I found one of his books. How's he wrapped up in this? I don't know. In one of the bedrooms, there was a body, a woman. She'd been decapitated. It was Joseph Morello's wife. Was she dead? I saw a photo of her. She was called Michelle. So we're not his first victims. Have you seen Mark? No. I've seen Demet, though. Have you met Ted? He's creeping around. Just because you keep saying it's Dumet, I don't believe that it's Dumet. You gotta hand it. Look, I'm not saying that we should have sympathy for the the murderer here, but my man is like, he loves the job. 
Like, he's putting in a solid eight hours here. He's the, I, we haven't seen him, like, sit down at a table and eat a sandwich or anything. Like, he's just... He is non-stop killing. If you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. Jesus. What is all of this? He's got video feeds, recording decks, a mixer big enough for Count's mics. He's watching everything. It's more than that. He's, he's, a, he's lurking. Here, he's streaming. Electrics, he's everything. subbing. He's he cheering. The whole building from here. He's the ultimate Twitch home? viewer. This all connects. This is how he's getting around the house. He's clipping your stream. He's turning it into unauthorized TikToks. He's making posts on the subreddit. Okay. I would like to return to the main menu. Please save my settings. Slash marker. That is, this game is called The Devil in Me. We'll finish it tomorrow, okay? Because, like, I'm pretty sure we got an hour, hour and a half left. This is not good. I'm pretty forgiving of the supermassive games. This one is, like, it is a little phoned in. Just endless series of hallways over and over again and then like uh maybe a jump scare at the end of it this is not what i signed up for give me the alien vampires again it barely ran at launch too it took me half an hour to make it work on my stream i was getting furious right click open file location edit the dot i and i so anything with full screen in it makes you have to change it to a two instead of a one otherwise oh you got to flip off hdr otherwise uh full screen will never toggle off even though it says it toggles off it just goes hey we'll never go to blah, blah, blah. anyway close this let me let me see if kate's ready to stream let me see if kate is streaming as we speak she's already live how about that Today's movie to movie, no, I, I got to take care of my child. Movie to movie, we'll have to skip a day. I know it's anathema to people whose, you know, self-esteem is connected exclusively to their um, wordle streaks, but we might have to skip today to do some fatherly duties. Sure. You know what? Thank you, Macros. I will add Charmander. That could come, I could see easily how that could come in handy. Thank you. My streaks. There it is right there. I will see you uh, tomorrow. Later.